Hello and welcome to another episode of the Chrissy Bayer podcast. You can hear me on iTunes, YouTube, Spotify, and SoundCloud. And if you're listening right now on iTunes, please leave a five-star review. Guys, it's finally here. You can pre-order my debut stand-up comedy album live from January 6th right now from Amazon or iTunes. Uh, The album drops on the Ides of March. March 15th. I can't believe we're in March already. It doesn't feel Marchy yet to me. I'm going to give it a few more days. And I've got a bunch of gigs coming up. And you can see them uh, on my website. You can buy tickets for all these shows on my website. Uh, I'm heading to Texas next week to promote the album. But then I'm heading to Raleigh, North Carolina to do Good Nights Comedy Club. Then I'm heading to Savannah, Georgia on March 19th to do The Wormhole. And then to Tampa, Florida on the 20th to do side splitters. I think that's at the Grove. And then I'll be with Comedians of the Compound back in Atlantic City, April 22nd and 23rd. For tickets, go to ChrissyMayer.com. To check out the other Comedians of the Compound shows, go to CompoundComedy.com. Quick shout out to this episode's sponsor. Guys, we've all seen and heard about so many people making ridiculous money from crypto. Ooh, cue the music. But did you know that it's easy for you to make money from crypto? The Copy My Crypto membership site shows you the exact cryptos that YouTuber James McMahon personally holds and allows you to copy him. It's like having a big brother who knows what he's doing and who's not gonna push you down a flight of stairs. You don't need to know a thing about crypto or how to invest. You simply just do what he does. So let me tell you a little bit more about James. He runs the Crypto with James YouTube channel, which despite heavy censorship, has over 15,000 subscribers and 1 million views. Since March of 2020, he's told his viewers to buy 26 crypto coins. Had you put $100 into each one of these, it would be worth now over $66,000. Now you tell me. Of the 26 coins, his top pick of the year, a coin called Phantom, is currently up around 440 times from when he started. That one call alone has retired a number of people, which means they can stop working. And these people are as young as in their 20s and 30s. That sounds pretty good. Uh, Remember, this is all public knowledge. You can check on everything that I'm saying by going to YouTube and verifying this. Uh, So if you'd like to join the 1,300 members who copy James and stop what you're doing, after this podcast, of course, and head over to copymycrypto.com slash mayor. That's spelled M-A-Y-R. You'll find proof of everything I've said, but also my listeners get full access for just $1. You won't find this offer anywhere else. And act fast because this is a special Marchy kind of offer. That's copymycrypto.com forward slash M-A-Y-R. He's a real deal. Go visit the site now. Wow, that was smooth as fuck. Speaking of smooth as fuck, our next guest, I mean, that this is the, so many people. This might be one of the most recommended uh, guests on the Chrissy Mayer podcast. The amount of requests I've received to have this guest, I should have counted because it was a lot. Uh, he is a content creator. He is a he is a culture commentator. He is many things. <sighs> We won't see his face, but we'll hear his voice. It's a Gundam! Aha! Check this out. <laughs> One, that was actually super impressive. It was really? so professional. I was sitting here like, oh my God, I'm on a real podcast for a change. You this are. This is something that I could like put on my resume the next but, time well, I apply for a job. I hope you do. I hope Did you, you hear do. the Chrissy Mayer show? I was on there. Listen to her sell that crypto, baby. Oh my God. The music is a new thing. We just had to find some free songs. Like, you know, what's it called? Royalty free is what I type into Google. Yes. Yeah. Isn't that nice? You could Uh, have sex to this song. You could sell it. You're delicious. You're delicious. This is like, I feel like I'm about to get a massage, maybe a spa day. Maybe this is a happy ending song. I don't know. I haven't been to those places. Well, as everyone knows, I have a weak spot for ginger women. I have Do a you? disease called gingivitis. I had no idea. Okay, all right. <laughs> I should have washed my hair for this podcast. Um, oh, that's fine by me. So <laughs> we were talking before we went live, and you said 
I got I have so many questions for you. But you were like, I have a plan for this podcast. And oh. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? Well, I'm not <laughs> pulling like, the ripcord on it yet. <laughs> what? Well, I have to wait until like the time is right. Okay. Sort of like I'm going to be Russia and your podcast is the Ukraine. That's probably too soon for that joke, Actually, but don't question me. I'm a it's, professional. It's absolutely not too soon because this is one of the talking points that I went to. So me and Frank may or may not have created a, a merch t-shirt, and I wanted to get your take on whether or not it is appropriate or if we should pull this design immediately. So I don't know if you've heard, but there's a little bit of drama between Russia and the Ukraine. And it seems to me that I'm, I feel much like the, the summer of 2020 when I was feeling pressured to support Black Lives Matter. I am now feeling in uh, winter, early spring of 2022, I'm feeling very pressured to support Ukraine. Uh, just from everywhere around me, people are making their corporate logos, the Ukraine flag. People, A lot of people I don't like are telling me I need to support Ukraine, which is making me feel that I need to do the opposite. And I want to be rooting for Putin. So this is my new burnt shirt idea is do you think this is going to because I don't understand what's really going on. I don't really care. All I know is a lot of people I don't like want me to support Ukraine and it makes me want to do the opposite. Oh, God, you know, <laughs> I'm probably the worst person on the planet to ask for something like this because I do tasteless jokes all the time because I have a sense of humor, which most people don't. I can look at this and go, whatever. Mm -hmm. But I could totally see this ending poorly. Really? Why? It's a shirt. It is a shirt, but, you know, everybody's really on edge. And I'm not going to pretend to know what the hell's going on myself. What I know comes from the news. So many colors. I do like the enthusiasm. But I don't know, really. Like, How bad could this be? I don't know what that little guy's up to. You've seen Twitter. My I God. I have seen it. I don't know. I feel, I feel like I want to be rooting for Putin. I think uh, I've heard that maybe he wants to take out some Nazis uh, or something. Some American. Yeah. Basically American related bio labs over there in the Ukraine. I think he, you know, he, he's somebody sent me. Oh, I got to pull up this Instagram video. S something to the effect of like, uh, we've made our country gay and Putin doesn't want us to turn the Ukraine gay. Basically. Like make uh, it a homo country. I don't want them putting chemicals in the water to turn the frogs gay. That's for sure. Yeah, nobody wants that. So I don't know. I think rooting for Putin is going to stay. I'm going to see how it how it's received over the next few years. I think it's fun. <laughs> the next few years. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how this turns out I'm later on. See down how the, road. the sales go for this shirt over the next few years. I'll chart it I out. I wonder how many would you sell. I'm interested. You know what? It's not my ass in the fire. I and, say, go and you know what? It. It's not overly Russian. Uh, there's no Russian flag. There's no picture. There's no Putin head. Uh, this is just, you know, breezy. You could spin it into a sexual reference. Okay. Like if people get mad at you, you could go, well, I'm just into Putin. Are you against women? Exactly. And Putin like, it Putin? in the rear. Putin is the, is the new term for genitalia. Yes. Maybe it's like the new term for trans genitalia. Like it's yeah, not these a pussy. people it's, need to be sex positive. It's a Putin. Yeah. Well, you have a problem with boy pussy? <laughs> That's going to be my answer literally for anything from now on. Like if someone just questions anything I do, what, you have a problem with boy pussy? That or just scream, are you transphobic? Yeah. That's the it's, answer to everything. It's the Twitter move. Anyone disagrees <laughs> with you, call them a bigot. <laughs> That's great. Isn't that great? And I've I've learned in recent years, like, oh, uh, I guess you're not sex positive. I guess you're a misogynist. Like for anything I do, I can only don't use support that. women doing only fans. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever are you a person who has dabbled in the only fans support? What do you mean? Like pay for it or something? Yeah. Oh, God, no. I don't know. I mean, maybe you have your own page. I don't oh, I don't no, know your no. romantic status. I don't know. if That you're... would not go well for me. I don't think. The most I could do is like paint tiny robots. Nobody's going to pay for that. Oh, are you dating anybody right now? Are you married? Oh, God, I'm not married. No, uh, <laughs> you said that. Oh, God, <laughs> I've had so many engagements go wrong. Recently. Really? 
Oh, well, in real life, yeah. How many? And in dating, three. And in dating, you've been engaged three times. All right, engage once and okay. propose twice. It's just gone wrong for me, you know. And did uh, you get to the the wedding part? Oh or... no, 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 the engagement ended, so it saved me money, but cost me emotionally. Oh no! Why did the first one end? Oh God. I really don't want to delve too deep into my <laughs> personal history because I used to complain about that all the time. Uh, long oh, story short, you, you like know how people do it. The girls love the bad boys and shit you, like that. You think you're too nice? You think you're not a bad boy? And you think that's I think I have changed in recent years after I left my twenties. Okay. News flash for people who think I'm younger. You sound I don't really younger. Have, I know. I sound and look younger. It, like buying cigarettes. You know, you go to the fucking kid at the counter and he's like, can I see your ID, sir? And I'm like, you don't need my ID. I'm of age. Give me the goddamn smokes. And then I give him my fucking ID. They look at it. He goes and gets a manager. They look at me and then they tell me what could happen to me if I fake trying to buy cigarettes. Like, who the fuck wants to possibly go to jail for some fucking Newports? Hand him over. Nobody oh, does. Um, I, I smoked briefly. My first cigarette was in ninth grade. Uh, my sister is two years older than me, so she's two grades ahead of me. So it was somebody in her grade that actually gave me Allison. I can't remember her last name, but she gave me my first cigarette ever. It was a marble red, and she was like teaching me how to smoke. This was it. no, it wasn't ninth grade. It had to be earlier than that because I know that we were at the middle school as eighth grade. And no, fuck, maybe it was sixth grade. Because right, well, time sister, doesn't matter. It was, I think it was sixth grade, honestly. And uh, she was like, This is how you smoke take a puff and then pretend that your mom walked in on you when you were with a guy. And, and that hadn't happened for me yet. Like, I hadn't really been with guys at all at that point. So I didn't even know what she was talking about. I was like, I don't even know what you're saying. Uh, but I know how to, I was like, I guess that's what she was trying to get, get me to. Anyway, I sucked at it. Um, but I was like, I was determined to be a smoker because it was cool. And uh, then my sister caught me at one of the dances smoking, I think, with this girl. And she cried. She told my mom. She told on me. But it was ultimately a good thing because just seeing her being upset, I was like, oh, right. I, I guess I should stop. And then but before I did that, I went up to the roof of my house and smoked like a bunch in a row and then threw up <laughs> and then threw them out. And then I was done. Like, did you have like philosophical moments on the roof while smoking? I these were spite smokes. I was just smoking them kind of angrily and secretly. And I was like, oh, nobody can tell me what to do. And it was gross. I don't know what it is about. I guess I wasn't cut out to be a smoker. It was for the best. They're expensive. But um I don't like the idea that you think you're too nice. I and I think when a lot of guys because you hear that a lot, like women like a bad boy, women like a project, women like a a guy they can fix or whatever. I think the confusion there is that women actually like it when a guy takes uh, initiative and like verbalizes what he wants. It's not that you're not, not that you personally, it's not that men are too nice. I think it's like a lack of decisiveness. Well, let's face it. You could choose between the guy who's doing YouTube and starting to like build something, or there's the guy with the drug and the alcohol problem. <laughs> Well, you they're not going to be happy with that. Ultimately, I think these girls uh, are going to like wake up one day. Even now could be that day because your freaking YouTube channel is blowing up. You have like over 400K subscribers. You're doing great. You're doing awesome. I'm doing all right for a former drug user. You are. Oh, look at. See, it's their <laughs> loss. I think, uh, I think I turned uh, my life around just like Nerd Roddick. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. 649k subscribers oh that really you know what's ironic okay i probably should be talking about this but i do get women in my dms see and one of them i admitted knew it. to me that like once she started talking to me and she realized i wasn't you know like this mega asshole she's like i have to admit it was slightly a turn off and i was like oh god now i have to live Fundam, up to this image i think that there might be something uh you might be attracting a certain type of woman uh drug users usually uh, they dig me so you think that that women who use drugs are attracted to you well they love making mistakes and i'm a huge one baby no i don't believe it 
I think you're you're a catch. Maybe you just like because I realized I was going for the same type of guy for a couple years in a row. But I don't know. I think it's all meant to be. I think it's like you weren't meant to be with these women, and um, fuck them. You know what? Fuck them. I think they're gonna wake up one day and feel FOMO. Yeah, and, and like hit you back. I get some FOMO myself when I think about that ex fiance that looked just like Dita Von Teese. What? What? You... That's a. Hmm? I know who Dita Von Teese is. Yeah, those are the type of girls I dated. The sort of suicide. <gasps> oh. Girl looking oh. chicks, models. Uh, I once posed as a photographer to get dates. I oh it. my God. <laughs> you do what you have to to survive in the jungle. That's really funny. But you know what? Sometimes you gotta shoot your shot. Happy Women's History Month, Gundam. Thank uh, God for it. We're finally here. We're out of Black History Month, pesky Black History Month, and now on to pesky Women's History Month. Missouri University was slammed for referring to Women's History Month as Women's History Month. Wait, whoa, hold on. There's a Y and an X now. They've changed it. They've changed it on us again. And what the fuck is a Women's, you ask? It's a, one of the characters from Thundercats. <laughs> is it really? No. Oh, I believed you. Uh, let's see. They're calling it Women's History Month. Damn. Northwest will host a variety of activities. Yeah, see, why are they calling it this? Who gave them the authority to just change how it's spelled? Uh, they're using the term Women's to encourage, of course, inclusivity. Oh. See, I'm of the mind that things are now too inclusive. I agree. We need to go back to exclusivity. We need I to love go it. Back, to, back to, you know, things rooting are things yeah rooting for putin exactly uh not everyone can be a woman turns out not everyone can be a dude it's i don't know why a... anyone wants to be a dude can i share a story <laughs> with you yeah i had an ex-girlfriend i'm not gonna drop her name oh. she wanted to like transition into a guy <gasps> and she was attractive and oh, i no. know she likes attention because like she would post attractive photos of herself on instagram all the time and I told her personally, I was like, listen, if you want to change around, I support it. But this ain't you. You don't want to do this. You don't want to be a man. Being a guy fucking sucks. She really I can understand. wanted to be a man. Yeah, I can understand dudes wanting to be chicks. Like, if I could turn into a hot chick, I'd probably do it. I mean, let's face it. But Women's you wouldn't. History Month? You wouldn't I don't be know how I'd consider chick. it. You would be a dude-looking chick, which is how oh, they I'd all end up looking. Oh, I'd be very attractive as a woman, You think so? Have you done the I face swap? So. No, I don't need face swap. I was a makeup artist. How? You were a makeup artist? I've done many things in this life. I am intrigued. How did you not know? We've spent so much time together. I guess I haven't been listening. I've been trying to work my magic on you like Mango from Saturday Night Live. You should have started with the, you were a makeup artist. That's pretty cool. Well, being a man that's of average looks, you need every trick in the book to make yourself look better. Where did you do makeup for? Uh, I played in rock bands and stuff. I hung out with drag queens. That's where I learned makeup. And the gay that's, community is where I hung out, too. Surprisingly, I'm not what gay. I used to do. I kind of like I, I was a like a gay community chick. I hosted a show at the Stonewall Inn in New York City for six years. Lo I still love the gays. But um, once I started doing a show on compound media, people uh, started calling me names like alt right and uh, started canceling me and shit. And uh, well, the gay community now yeah. is totally different than it was years ago. Yes. Now we have conservatives. It's a little more diverse. It's a little it's more inclusive. A... Yes. That's the key word. Women X. Yeah. Women X. I need to ask a question. Is it true that you have been selling these lovely statues of yourself? Statues. I just sent you a link. Uh, not saying I pre-ordered one of these, what? but it appears you've been posing for very sensual pieces of what art. What are you talking about? Put it in the private chat. The private chat? How do you? I sent it to Twitter. Oh, wait. Twitter? I'm not in Twitter. I'm in this podcast right now. Well, don't worry. The show All is right. fucked All right, anyway. Let me go. <laughs> what the hell? This thing you just sent me? You think that's me? It looks a lot like you, doesn't it? I'm beyond flattered that you're even comparing me to this thing that has an Frank, amazing body. Frank, doesn't that body. look like Chrissy's face? Uh, hold the phone. I need to share this. Da, da, da. Wait, I still can't figure this out. Rooting for Putin shirt. I did that already. <laughs> Segway to selling more shirts. Ah, <laughs> oh, here it is. Okay, this is what you think looks like me? In this the face area. 
this is a gray. Well, you have to paint featureless. It, you know. I'm flattered. This is my goal. This is my goal body right here. Well, we're not talking about the body, more the face. Do you send me a nude woman and say, That's look at the, but nude. just look oh, at the this. face? Well, this we're is... focusing on the face area. We can definitely tell that there's similarities here. <laughs> Let me check chat. Am I crazy? No. <laughs> this is the official Chrissy Mayor. Uh, statues that you can get kids. This is a really great tactic. Like if you're talking to a girl, just this is a great excuse to just send her nude photos of other women and be like, I think this you look like this woman. This it's looks in the exactly face. like and then you just you. send her a nude. <laughs> it, <laughs> I send a dick pic right after. That's yeah. the move. <laughs> the move is to get Trick you em. to feel very secure in yourself and then you send me the nudes of your own volition. Yeah. Have you ever sent a nude to a girl? Oh not anymore. To, that to ship has to. sailed. Oh, totally. I used to have six pack abs and everything before YouTube. Really? So you were a makeup artist. You hung out with drag queens. You had a six pack. You were you in a band? Yes, of course. Are you gay? That's what everyone asks. I literally had an ex girlfriend ask me the same question yesterday. Okay. She's and? like, "Are you gay?" I'm like, "No, I'm not gay." Okay. Gundam has 4D simp levels. Impressive. How dare you? You're banned down, Shift. I'm so intrigued by your backstory. So how did you go from doing makeup, from hanging out with, ba being in a band, hanging out with drag queens, to, to doing YouTube? Oh, very simple. I lost my recording deal. Oh, no. And then I was considering suicide. Oh, no. And I just started uploading videos on YouTube, and I figured, you know, uh, I will think about suicide tomorrow. Let's do a goofy video. And that's been my coping mechanism ever since. How did you lose your recording deal? Oh, my God. Uh, well, to put it simply, uh, the A&R asshole was like. A&R? Uh, an A&R rep. And he was like, I don't I even know understand what A&R stands for, but they like represent record labels and shit. Uh, Dave Grohl was in the mix. Ooh. Lee, Robbery Krieger from the doors. I shouldn't even be name dropping because they probably don't even remember my chump ass. And uh, the rep was like, okay, here's the thing. Where's your band's social media presence? And I'm sitting there, right? And I'm what like, year is this? Take us back. Probably 2014, 15. Not that long ago. Okay. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, social media presence. We have a Facebook page. That was it. Like, we're all musicians. None of us, like, sat on social media. We sat playing fucking instruments. Like, of course we don't have fucking presence, you douchebag. <laughs> Would you say that to the goddamn Beatles? We're Motherfucker, yeah. Paul McCartney. We're focusing on the art. Exactly. They keep signing people who can't... TikTokers get recording deals now, for God's sakes. A girl dancing gets uh, recording so deals. So similar to comedy. They will... It's whoever can fill a room. It, it kind of doesn't matter about the art anymore. Yeah, it still bothers me because I don't want to be doing YouTube. <laughs> I'm no? not going to lie to you. But you're so good at it. People love you. The least talented thing I've ever done in my life is the most successful. And it's death for an artist in a sense, even though people probably would think, wow, what a pretentious asshole. But I'm just being real. You know what it is? It's such an artist mentality to be like, because uh, you probably work so hard. at you. You probably feel like that you worked harder at being a musician than you do at YouTube. It's almost like you don't deserve all the success. I will admit that I don't understand how I got here yeah. to this day. I, I feel like a phony. That I have the same thing. It's called imposter syndrome. Like I, I've heard that anything that does well, I'm like, why? Uh, anytime I have a good conversation with somebody, I go, Oh, it's cause it was a good guest. They were a good chat. It wasn't like, I have such a hard time attributing success to anything that I do. Or I'm like, oh, it was my clip guy. He made really good clips. And I don't know if this is like an artist mentality disease or like I feel like I worked so hard just specifically in stand up that when I started like dipping a toe into YouTube, it's almost like you put in this much effort and you see this much results. And then you go over to YouTube and you put in this much effort and you see pff, all these results. And you're like, well, what the what the fuck? It's a little bit strange. Yeah, I keep thinking, like, at any moment, the rug's going to be pulled from under me. For years, I used to think Ashton Kutcher was going to come to my house and tell me I was punked. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> guess what, bro? Nobody actually likes this garbage shit. Oh, I yeah. knew it, Ashton. Kick me in my balls, please. Yeah.
Uber Geek has a Gundam. Uh, be a good chap and send Chrissy down the Chris Chan rabbit hole and maybe top it off. To top it off, you can show her that money is energy TikTok guy. I got to hunt down money is energy guy. I got in trouble for that because it was an ex-girlfriend who was sending me those money is energy things. It's positive affirmations about how you can become rich by thinking that you're rich. Because you thinking oh, about being rich will attract the so money. So it's to like you. the secret. It's uh yes, it's like exactly. it's um, yeah. It's what is it called? Like yeah, positive affirmation. It's manifesting. That's it. Okay. Where's money, man? Let's see. Does he wear glasses? Yes. Okay. Someone already have a link for him? Because I know I've still got his TikTok here somewhere. Did it come out a year ago? Oh, I did it a year ago, but I have to find him specifically. God, there's probably so much money. So much money. So many people. I buy into this. It would be a great way if to you, market some sort of you, bullshit. If you find it, send it to me. Um, it's okay. Send but, Frank to do it. He's like back there. Yeah, Frank is my Jamie. He's he I am uh, fetching him to get things on the internet. Get to work, boy. I'm looking for it. He's looking for it. God bless. What him. did you play? What did you play in the band? Uh, I can play guitar, a bit of mandolin, actually. Is that like a Mandalorian? <laughs> yes, if he was a small wooden instrument. <laughs> dun, dun. You know uh, what I really harmonica. like? My, my favorite thing about the Mandalorian is that, that behind the scenes um, video of how the guy came up with the uh, theme song. That's one of the most interesting things I've seen. Because I like I to get, seen it. I like to get into the creative process. Oh, that I want to find for you, Mandalore. Fuck, Frank, can you find that? <laughs> Frank, get to work. <laughs> That's kind of one of my favorite things. Like, I wish, um, I wish I could see some videos of Perry Chan, like behind the scenes. How does he make his videos? Like, I want to know how he looked at my Frost impression. Not to like toot my own horn. Uh, how he looked at that impression and thought I could put this to a beat and make this a rap. You know what I mean? That's so interesting to me. Oh, Perry it's... Chan is a talented individual. What a talented fucking crazy ass special guy. Um, if only I could find my own Perry Chan to make my workload lighter. Well, if there's any Asians watching this that want to be Gundam's Perry Chan. Do you or... have endless amounts of talent and want to be paid poorly for it? Or not at all. <laughs> Join now. But your videos are awesome, Gundam. They're very quirky and interesting. And I can tell, like, you put a lot. It feels like there's a lot of editing involved. For someone like myself who does zero editing, I respect and appreciate when I see, like, oh, wow, they're making cuts and they're putting in, like, different videos. What is your process like for, uh, for making videos? It's very rare that I plan anything out. It's very rare. I think G4 was the only one that kind of had a plan. The second one. Uh, the DSP one had a plan. But usually I fly by the seat of my pants. And now with the way YouTube is after like 2018, where everything is bullying and harassment, mother of God, you can't even look at someone crooked. Like, you really can't. Like <laughs> yeah. I got nailed for bullying harassment for saying like people who have Zzer pronouns. Oh, I can't even say it. But possibly they might need some special help. From a place that's like a hospital. <laughs> because if you Similar. say it other way, then right. there's they white there's white walls, there's men in lab coats with clipboards. And they give you shirts that are already built in hugs. Yes, you can hug yourself all day. Doesn't that sound nice? Doesn't it sound like something that Zer would enjoy? Yeah. Oh, here it is. We found it. So here's how the man this I think is so interesting. This is like eight minutes long. We have to watch the whole thing. But this is how the Mandalorian score found the new Star Wars sound. This guy looks like just a regular ass dude. I'm sure he wasn't, you know what I mean, thinking I'm going to be a score maker. I'm probably going to get a copyright strike for this. You know, this reminds me of the gay porn film called Didgeridoo. My name is Ludwig Morrison, <laughs> and I'm the composer. Doesn't he look uh, like a Ludwig? I had about a month, and I just set up my studio with a bunch of different instruments. I had guitars, a bunch of different guitars. 
piano, a lot of 70s synthesizers, drum kit, roads, a bunch of synth. It's guitars. literally just him. I just started thinking about a lot about kind of going back to how I remember. I think Star he's Wars created it had it with me as a little some kid. other theme songs and for them. How I can. But only the Mandalorian spoke to you. <laughs> yeah. Because it's such a different sound. Okay, this is a little bit of like backstory. Music was oh, yeah, you play that Star Wars theme, you're getting hit. I remember them starting playing yeah. that piece, and it just felt like something I haven't felt before. I got a call that John Favreau wanted to meet me, and I step into his office, and on all of the walls, there's just surrounded by visual art from the show. They were still in pre production, so they hadn't shot anything yet. And I didn't really know what it was about, but my jaw dropped, and I John saw came Baby over to Yoda, me and my like, heart hey, sank. about this character. And he kind of went over each episode there. and like, yeah. each character and, and all the planets. And it was just mind-blowing from, from the get-go. And we're talking about samurai movies so very okay. early in the process. Sometimes not even musical elements. John and I worked with in making it uh, Senegal for a month. And Yeah, they were in Senegal for a month. I don't even Everybody know where that is. Drink, so. It's in Africa. So made that into, like, oh, that explains why I don't know. I bought a set of. What I like is that he picked up like basically a recorder, like we, you get in grade school. I don't think that's a recorder. I remember it's, it's, just sitting it's, it's, hours. It's, 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 kind, it's basically a recorder. Just, it's like, it looks more complicated. My inner child a little bit. I'm not a master at this instrument. It's basically so a recorder. Something that it's came plastic. out in the very beginning. It's like a plastic was just knobs and shit there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't really think this was going to work. This was like, this is so simple. In my head, when I'm thinking about writing, but it's fucking doors, awesome. I, very high and like I don't know. I just don't think that this advanced. guy, when he became a musician, was like, oh, I'm going to make theme songs. I'm going to get know? rich off of like playing an instrument I barely know yeah. and doing something super simple. And so I, I guess bet, that whips back I, to YouTube. I bet this guy, you know, like, like a. He, there's probably musicians that would be like, oh, this guy sold out. He's making a Star Wars theme. And to me, it's like he's won because he's made a living uh, doing what he loves. He doesn't have to work at a fucking bank. Just so uh, you, I don't know if you can hear me. Um, I just looked at his Wikipedia. Uh, he's always been a sellout. <laughs> what? He's been a writer and, and producer for all of Childish Gambino. Oh, music for man. 10 years and then he did a couple of movies he did the score for black panther oh um, man as well oh, as fuck this guy you were supporting yeah. a corporate shell i know i can't believe i was I starting to like this person sleep at night now goodbye taking it off wow thanks a lot frank you got well, i can't it. blame him if they called me in to do music for some show and would pay me more than youtube i'd be out the fucking door Right, that's what it's about, and and uh, I, I wonder if if artists, musicians, comedians, it, it, it's something about like you start getting success. It's like almost like you romanticize the the broke struggle part of it. I know that that is very much a thing for comedians. Like you're not a real comedian unless you're running around doing five spots a night, uh, making no money. You're in all the clubs, but you're like you're not feeling fulfilled not that many people are seeing you versus like, okay, you do a podcast on YouTube that you're funny on thousands of people see it. Maybe you make a little bit of money from it. You know what I mean? It's like, I feel like all artists have this struggle of like, do I try to make money, but you have to do what what's in your heart and what feels good, but you don't want to, you don't want to do too well. And then I don't yeah. know. Do you feel like I kind of see what you're saying there as a yeah. YouTuber? It's weird. Cause when you're broke, Everybody makes fun of you for being broke. And the second you make a little money, everybody resents you for it or think you sold out. Yeah. And you're like, aren't we all trying to make money? Isn't that the aren't goal we all of adulthood? To avoid being homeless? Yeah. Isn't that like every adult's goal just to do something like well enough you know, to pay a bill with? Get a beautiful house, a white picket fence, a lovely wife, some dogs. Yeah. Yeah, that's the end goal for me. I probably won't see it, though. I'll probably die of a drug overdose or something. No, don't say that. Warren Wright, this should be a good one. P.S. Chrissy, I've been trying to email you, but I'm not finding a way. Please reach out to me or help me reach out to you. Well, that's a little suspect. Reach out and touch someone. My email is very much publicly on my website. 
But yes, let me help you figure out email. Mikey Gussler, it's a Gundam! Slash confirm that Guns N' Roses will release a 30th anniversary box set edition of the Use Your Illusion albums. Will you, will pick, you it pick up? that up? What's your favorite uh, song? Mine is Coma on one and Locomotive on two. Baby's got a locomotive. Baby and all on the track. Uh, let me think. It's been so long. I've got like the original Use Your Illusion uh, tape decks in the other rooms. I don't need a 30th anniversary. I got the originals. Uh, get in the ring. I like for some reason. Is that on Use Your Illusion? Uh, didn't they do Live and Let Die on Use Your Illusion too? I could be wrong. I don't know any of these answers. Well, I thought you're into rock and roll. <laughs> I I mean I have I listen to I I don't have like a nerdy extensive knowledge. Like I definitely listen to like Led Zeppelin. I was a Met Metallica fan in high school, but I don't want to pretend that I know more than I do. I vaguely enjoy. I went to a Van Halen concert once. With Diamond know. Dave. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, you don't know it was okay. It's Diamond Dave. Um, <laughs> then there was uh, Sammy Hagar, the Red Rocker. I think it was him. Okay, I was about to say. Did you catch it with Gary Sharon? It was definitely during like the very early aughts. See, when I was growing up, I wanted to be a musician. Like, uh, there's only like. I'd say two things I want to do, do in this life. Race motorcycles, which by the time I was 20, I learned I was too old to do. Oh, no. Because motorcycle racers start at four years old. That was like me with gymnastics. By the time I started, I was nine. And you might as well yep, be Yep, it's 30. too late. It's yes, too late. Your exactly. period's already going to come. Yeah. Sorry, honey. You got those Sorry. woman bones. <laughs> yeah. You have to start when you're four. You have to confuse your body into doing gymnastics. And I wanted to be a musician. So I figured to be a good musician, I had to know a whole bunch of stupid rock and roll trivia, which I now realize was a waste of time. Wow. But I, I don't know. Have you completely stopped? Have you completely given up on the music thing? Well, I was going to, uh, I can say it now because it doesn't matter. In 2020, I was going to fund my band doing everything again, getting us on Spotify, recording all the tunes properly, and just getting it out there and then seeing if I could pull a Joji. But then coronavirus happened. What's a Joji? Okay, Joji is Filthy Frank. And you might go, what's a Filthy Frank? Filthy Frank was part of the Halcyon days of YouTube. One of the wild men. Probably one of the funniest content creators that ever existed. And then he just made the pivot shift into music. Oh, uh, wow. Frank, do you know a filthy Frank? I don't. Holy shit. Wow. Let's see if chat has anything. None of us know. She doesn't know. She I'm know. so new to the YouTube world. Like, I was so dumb. I could have totally taken advantage of the YouTube golden years. I was just fucking. We all fucked up. Working my dumb day jobs, I guess. I was thinking I was going to be a rock star, so I didn't care too much about YouTube. Okay, the chat knows about Filthy Frank. Oh, everyone knows Filthy Frank. I think that his last video that he uploaded was like a premonition of what was going to happen to YouTube. Call me crazy. I must have really? watched it like three or four times. It could just be me projecting the misery of YouTube and thinking Filthy Frank was some sort of messiah. Let's bring up his YouTube page because uh, tell me what would be a what video is a good representation of his talents well like, his best like, videos were taken down he has 7.79 million subscribers what the hell is this guy doing he quit years ago <gasps> should i play rice balls am i gonna get a strike i doubt it if it's still up oh the weeaboo the weeaboo video is a classic all right i'm gonna play this one フィルシーフランクショウへ。今日はすごい面白いものを教えてやるよ。俺のクローゼットの中にユダヤ人が2人いるんだ。I a non-Japanese person who basically denounces their own culture and calls themselves Japanese. They try to learn Japanese through the anime they watch and usually end up pronouncing it wrong and looking like a complete idiot. Keep in mind that a non-Japanese person can like the culture. This is the person that you think is so great? The culture, while still keeping in touch uh -oh. with their own. 
Why is this talking like a fourth rate? The Weavers basically disrespect the culture and make complete asses of themselves. Even if you don't know the definition, well, I don't think you've you're into the these anime. guys around. Uh, I'm not into anything this guy is doing. Store, okay, pause in the your video. mom's attic. They smell. What the? Give her chat, please. Oh my god, what is the big deal? This guy is like yelling into the screen. All right, you need to be part of like the anime subculture. Do you watch anime? No. Okay. What do I look like? A loser. Okay. <laughs> a loser. <laughs> oh. I'm just kidding. Okay. Well, um, mm. I've right, never so thought of how could I preface Filthy Frank to someone that's not part of like internet culture. It's really. boy humor. Boy humor. Wow. I'm dead to you, Codonomics. Damn. I, I'm not saying this is shitty. I'm not, I don't mean to judge it. I just don't understand it. And I, I can't see the, the humor in it. How so dare I, you, Spidey I, I only, Sensei? I only watched like a little bit of it, but I'm not impressed. Yeah, you'd have to really be into watching for, anime and dealing with weeaboos online. For millions of followers, I just, I don't know. I think I can. Using one of the most xenophobic cultures again. that exists today. Oh, That's part of the character. Safari Bear. That's kind of fun. <laughs> the one on the old you know. Apparently, everyone has to look. This is low budget. It's fine. Well, this is the old days of YouTube. That's true. That's true. All right. Yeah, I don't what see is this, you watching the fatty. Let me take a deep yeah, that is. All right. I apologize. I forgot you're not it's part of like you. anime culture. Okay. And now maybe I'll get into it now. I don't know. You'd have to watch the entire series of Naruto. Does that take a long time? Oh yes, it's not for you. I don't think. Okay. I hey, won't lie to you. This is the biggest filthy Frank video. It's, this better be better than that last one. It it isn't. It's like a bad Tom Green type of thing. Oh no! I don't even like good Tom Green. Tom Green had his moments. He did. He did. Like that one time he was singing Parsley Sage Rosemary and Tide, <laughs> or when he took his father's car and painted lesbians over it and called it the Slut Mobile. Again, this is so like to me, anybody can come up with this. Like, this seems like the most easy. And again, he did it right. Like, I'm just talking. He also about created the Harlem Shake. Did he? Yeah, the Harlem the Shake that was an internet up. sensation. He created the Harlem Shake. Nobody yeah. even wants you. How did here? Cecil get a link? Oh, Cecil's no. in the room. You've exposed me, Frank. Damn you. <laughs> what is Cecil doing here? Does he want to talk about filthy Frank? Maybe he his mask is inspired by him. Oh, uh, maybe. Filthy, filthy Cecil. I guess let's see what he has to say. All right. But if he sucks, I'm booting him out. We'll see how that goes. How quickly. All right. I forgot that you actually had like a extra safety measure. Son of a bitch. What do you mean extra safety measure? Frank. <laughs> Frank is my extra safety Me? measure. I didn't do anything. Yeah. I exactly. Lisa, I was like, okay, Cecil's going to come in here and then I'm going to make the move. Was this your That's master move. plan? It was this one is your of master them. plan? I want to share this TikTok money guy because we finally found the video. Money is energy. Is this what you're uh, referring to? This guy? Oh, no. That's the wrong guy. Who's this? Grant Cardone. This is mo this is what came up for money is energy. He's really Money's here energy. to motivate you. Whoever spends the most energy gets the most money. So Amazon's going to make a bunch of money because they just spend a lot of energy. This guy exhausts me just by looking at and, him. And then money comes. Don't worry, I found and it. And then they manage it correctly and expand again. That's not it. All right, all right. Did you find it? Get ready for the real one. Okay, I'm ready. Frank, you're fired. <laughs> you think money this guy has a huge head. All right. That's because he's got so much power. He looks like a little bit like a villain. All right, here we go. TikTok, I don't go on this. Yes. Site. You see, because money is not just this paper humble brag in currency this is not money so if money's not this paper what is it money Tell is me. energy 
It's an energy. It rides on a current. <sighs> it's meant to circulate. Money is simply an energy, and your relationship with that energy is going to determine the amount of money that you attract to you and bring into you. So I feel like this guy falls in love with strippers easily. Don't we all? <laughs> I did. I and did. Here's an even more I was like, she really part. likes me. Money <laughs> is made up of the same Kitty, energy. Kitty, just she knows how to talk to me. Yeah, you are money. She and I have a connection. I'm going to come all back to New to Orleans. Is attract more of the same to you. My okay, wife guys, doesn't understand. It really is. Yeah, simple. no, she is, this guy's insufferable. I feel like he's he fantastic. Exclusively he's only dates you. Asians. Yes. Oh, I can't stand that. The, the, you know, I have a friend like that. The white guy who only dates Asians. I had an ex-boyfriend like that. Well, I was the last of the I was the last of the great white girlfriends, and then he cheated <laughs> on me with an Asian, and then <laughs> continued on. That's the kind of guy that's like too proud of his chopstick skills. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I remember one time we went on a date to mini golf. He he had to get his uh like actual golf clubs out of his trunk. He took out his hundred dollar putter to do mini golf, and I still kicked his ass. It was probably one of the best moments of my life. That's why he left you for the Asian girl. She would have known to lose. Ah, true, true. Such a dishonor. Um, wait, we still haven't brought in Cecil this whole time? No. He's been sitting here. <laughs> Thank God. Cecil. Cecil. Hello. What's going He's on? He's like a charm gun. <laughs> well, you know, Cecil, I told you, I'm not a man who has great plans. <laughs> This was your great plan, just to bring Cecil on? Well, Cecil's going to come in out of nowhere, like a fucking right hook, right? And he was going to have these beautiful non sequiturs, these great commentary moments about the social political times we're in. But instead, Frank had to fuck it up, and it threw Cecil off his game. So it's not Yeah, I don't even know why I'm here. Exactly. He's not confused. Cecil. I don't believe for a second you're off drugs. This was the most harebrained scheme I ever heard. And you, Cecil, and you are you are you rooting for Putin? Or are you for Ukraine? Oh yeah, definitely. The other dude was had his chick saying for the New World Order. I was like, all right, I'm on Putin's side. See, Wait, New World Order. Exactly. Yeah, you saw. Did you oh, see yeah. that? Of course no. not. She. Uh, uh, let me pull it up. Uh, she, I was uh, too busy stalking Amaranth. See, can you? All right, I have another question for you, uh, it, Gundam. Can you explain to me what uh, Amaranth and Pokey mean? Can you explain them to me? There's uh, nobody on earth who could explain them to you better than him. <laughs> Cecil, do me a favor. Can you get on Amaranth's uh, Twitch, not Twitch, uh, Twitter account? She's selling her farts right now. Still, I can't. No, that's a different girl entirely. Oh. That's uh, all right. Other that was fraud. fart in a jar. That was fart in a jar girl. Well, Amaranth... I reached out to fart in a jar girl to get her on the podcast. No response. What did she have to say? Wow, she's too busy farting in jars to be on this. She show? had to stop farting in jars because of like an anal fissure or something like that. Damn, well... it was terrible. It ended her career. It was so prominent. You almost said that like terrible, like anal fissure. Could you just hair. imagine if Michael Jordan lost his jump shot during like the Chicago Bulls playoff? That's the I equivalent can't. of this girl not being able to fart in a jar. So these, <laughs> who are these girls? I don't understand them. I don't understand. I know that they're like pretty girls on Twitch, but I don't understand the insane allure. Well, honestly, I think it's because a lot of dudes today are super, super lonely. Oh. And they're getting their sort of validation from a female, even if it's a female on screen. Which is tragic, realistically. But it made for good content. Okay. It, Are either of them your type, Gundam? Uh, if she's got a pulse and she's decent looking, she's my type, baby. <laughs> you know, she's all right. I don't have a problem. So, Gundam, you were going to get your your music, your your band back together. And then... The pandemic happened, and you and you scrapped the plans. Well, uh, the producer became deathly afraid of coronavirus. Ah, uh, is he a masker? Is he a jabber? Is he like all that? He could be all of that. Yes. I don't know. I don't ask questions. You know, you want to wear a mask, go ahead. You want a jab, go ahead. You don't want a jab, don't go jab. You don't want to wear a mask, don't wear a mask. You want to fuck sheep, don't do it on my lawn. That's how I live my life. <laughs> don't do it on my farm. Yeah. Okay. Right, Cecil. Yes. God I, have a, I have I have your truck. You did not need a hype man. 
All right, no. here we go. Amaranth, I started a new business. Have you ever wanted to smell your favorite streamer or own their hot tub water in physical yes. form? Not an NFT. Say less. Go to cutiepatooties.me. Supply is super limited. All right. You know, I like her because she's a redhead. Well, it's um, fake. It is. So is mine. Well, shoot. <laughs> what? Yours is fake. There goes Sorry. my fantasies. Oh, Maybe I should stop telling people that. It's, it's good. He always wanted to kill a redhead, so don't. <laughs> wow. So this is a real toot. How do you know it's, a, it's her toot in a jar and not like the Uber drivers, you know? I'm you questioning her work ethic. I might be. Her, her dedication are great. to the craft. She's it's beautiful. all fantasy. It's all fantasy anyway. Like It doesn't matter. They're never going to open that jar. They're saving it. No, they say? open sell that jar for cookies? the snip, Cecil. So you, you think I can sell butt cookies? Ew. See, this guy's super famous, Ricky Berwick. He's ready to sell you butt cookies. Oh, if damn. someone sends me Amaranth's bath water, I do have a forensic scientist on tap, and we will test to see if her skin follicles are in it. And if they aren't, <laughs> I guarantee fucking tee you, we are going to break that news story. You'll ruin her sample. Just to oh, like I certainly will. Fact check it. Yeah. Ghost in the Craig. Cheers, Chrissy and Papa Gundam, you beautiful bastard. How much is it charging, by the way? How much is it, Cecil? Find out for me. I can't look because she's blocked me everywhere. Why did she block you? What did we you have do? a long history of, uh, I don't even know how she's that mad at me. I didn't do anything bad. What People have told do, me horror stories about her that I never did because I thought they were too far over the edge. Um, but anyway, I've done a couple videos on her shenanigans. Okay. And uh, I guess she got tired and blocked me. Then there was one instance where she was telling people I was one of her biggest fans and supporters to, I guess, discredit me and make me look like I paid for her or something like that. Were you ever like a subscriber? Hell no. Hell will freeze over first. I guarantee fuck it to you. Frank, why did you make me the big screen? Because it's, uh, loves it's you. you're the only one with a camera. Okay. Oh, it's smart. Thank you, Frank. I it's just a, feel like it, a diva when I'm the. Two hundred for hot water uh, for the hot tub water. A thousand for the fart. You're shitting on a me. Thousand for a you fart. Want, you can share my, my, uh, oh, I'm blocked. <laughs> you can share my screen if you want to see her ad. She's in a she's in a bathing suit though. I don't know if that's gonna. Uh, I have been sent her porn. It is terrible. It is absolutely the worst porn I've really? ever seen. Really? Got a my nice body. Went, and that ass is fake. My penis went flat. She's a fake ass. How do you know? I probably should have said that? that. I lived in L.A. So you can spot a fake ass a mile away. Oh, I can away? spot fake tits and ass a mile away, baby. Interesting. They're very hard to put in your eye sockets. By the way, I don't really like fake tits for like motorboating. That's just me though. Yeah, it's hard. They're harder. Yeah. Very hard. <laughs> like the reality of fake boobs versus like what you see in porn. You know, as a guy, I'm like, oh my God, fake tits must be so amazing. And then the chick's just beating you in the fucking face with them. They look fantastic. Yeah, you lay down. They don't, you know, yeah, what sucks the about real boobs, in. you lay down and then your boobs kind of disappear. They slide. They, yeah. they part they like the Red Sea. Into the rest of your body. They go into your armpit. Exactly. See, but so, they're very soft. You can lay on them. You can do things to them. You know, they're squishy and wonderful. Yeah. I have a I have a question, and the chat can chime in on this as well. I think the fart thing is disgusting, but mm -hmm. is there any man or woman that you would smell their fart if it meant you could be intimate with them, like a celebrity or a porn star? I do it for money. Oof. I don't even. <laughs> I think would I even want to smell Channing Tatum's farts? No, I don't. Dude, I've, sm but I've smelled was, my Because man fart is bad. Come on, you've been trapped in a, a car with some gross just guys. Bad. What are you talking about? Smelled some, smelled some gross farts in your days. Imagine with no reward except being laughed at for your reaction. My brother farts what like with Paramount wild nuclear. abandon wild abandon and in front of his wife like through i watched through the whole courtship process dating engaged married now kids he farts he has no <laughs> regard he farts like He's he is a alone I, i'm like where does this get to, where does he get so much confidence like where did he get the feeling like he could just fart and this woman still married him i that was know. it. He, she was impressed that he was the only guy that would do that in front is of her. Is this what guys It's so like, alpha to fart in front of your wife and kids. Is it? I mean, no, are guys doing this? Are guys out here farting? Like, like, 
I don't know. Me and That's Frank probably why to not I'm do single. that. I, I, I avoid farting. I avoid farting in front of Chrissy at all costs. I'm sure they they squeak out at nighttime when I'm asleep. Frank like opens the window and sticks too. his ass out of it and just lets it <laughs> rip. We try to not do that. Like there's very, you know, I feel like that's the one small thing you can do for your partner is just to hold your fart in. Okay, so this outside. guy's got the right idea. He's saying for a night with Jessica Alba, he would. That's what I'm saying. But okay. the question is, what if Jessica would. Alba's bad in bed? Then you would have well, ate fart for nothing. <laughs> ate it. You just chew it. Well, what I'm saying is we've all eaten fart for nothing with our friends in a car ride and just, spend, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> at least we get to have sex with Jessica Alba. For, right. you know. This is why I like Cecil. He makes things rational. He does. I do like Cecil. I I, I came around on Cecil. I didn't understand what the big deal was at first, to be honest. Cecil I was grows like, why does everyone like talk about this Cecil guy? But then I met him. I did one uh, podcast with Cecil. And I'm like, this guy's it. Yeah. He's got a magic I haven't seen since James Brown. He's got fire in his shoes. <laughs> oh, go on. All right. So I'm going to keep this. <laughs> that is too much money for so, uh, Chrissy, For Amber Channing ass. Tatum, you wouldn't smell his fart? Of course you would. <sighs> totally. If like, you and I were here. to break up. Yeah, this is fictitious. And the opportunity of. <sighs> I would That's be yes, curious. She's but now really that a friend of mine it. has slept with him and said that he's not that great in bed, I'm really less curious now. He well, I guess he doesn't to have to good. try. He does no, exactly. He has hot guy complex where he just That's lays like there. hot chick complex. Yep. I've had yep. that before where I was with this girl after my engagement was over and I was trying to fill the void of my life by using pickup artist shit. And really? I got this attractive feel. Oh, yeah, it works. You use pickup artist shit? Like, it's all about the numbers, baby. No, no. There's, like, everything in life, I believe Bruce Lee had some of the greatest philosophies. Use only what works and disregard everything else. Okay. So when they give you ideas of how to kiss a girl, this is one of my favorites. I call it the kiss close. Here's one for you kids. If you're on a date with a girl and you want to kiss her, but you don't know if she wants to kiss you, you do this. Um, Let's see. You look at her. And you say, would you like to kiss me? And if she goes, no, then you go, oh, well, I was just asking because it seems like there's something on your mind. If she oh. goes, yes, you get the kiss. If she like hesitates or like can, looks at you coquettishly, then you go, <laughs> let's find out. Ooh. And then you move in on it. It's That's stuff fun. that like, it's useful. Certain parts of it, other aspects of it are retarded. Kind of like that's called out. being a like decisive. That's decisiveness, and women like that. I'm like a tiger baby. You're putting wow. it out there. Wow. John right, Cecil. So. Well, I say we're miles from anywhere, and you have no self service. Do you want to kiss me? And they always oh. say yes. Yeah. <laughs> no so one can hear the... your screams. We're way out here. Cecil uses the Dennis Reynolds approach. It's it's the implication that something could happen to her that <laughs> oh forces her God. to kiss you. Um, John McLean says, here's an illegal contribution, dude, snort. That is a deep DSP reference. Wow. What is DSP? Oh, my God. Help. <laughs> Dick Cecil, Dick so your, Dick Dick so your fans about what happened at Compound yesterday. Right? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. I have had such a day. So I was burgled yesterday during my show. So my Monday night show. Thank you, bastard. Wet spite. No, wet spot. It's not sexual at all. Wow. So I was doing my show. Uh, We did it. It was fine. We go to leave. One of my guests was like, oh, I, I don't know. My, we're at the elevator. What well, am my wallet? He goes back. He gets his wallet. We all go home. Today, this is a, a full day later, uh, maybe like what, a couple hours ago. I get a text from one of the booth boys like, hey, we had an intruder last night at Compound. We were just checking the cams, check to see if there's anything missing in your coat pockets or your bag or your wallet. And I was like, what? No, I guess I'm fine. Like today was one of those days where I didn't go anywhere or open a wallet. Like I just was home and streaming and shit. So I didn't it was a closed wallet day. So I just figured I'm I'm going to reach out to all my other guests and be like, oh, are you OK? And then I finally opened my wallet. There's three hundred dollars missing in one of my credit cards. And I was like, fuck. And uh, so I had to, you know, I call I'm in a, I'm like, you know, freaking out. I, cre I, I canceled the credit card, whatever. And then uh, so they were watching on Kumia's show. They're watching the footage of this girl. And I, I did tweet about this. I said, her skin color is not important, but it's what you're thinking. <laughs> oh, no. And we were all, 
you know, so nice. We, we, you know, a couple of the people on the show saw this girl sitting in the waiting room. Nobody thought to ask her questions. You know, I think it's because the fucking it's 2022 and, and nobody can ask a black person what they're doing ever. You know what I mean? And then you go and like a bunch of chumps, we left our bags out and then we're watching this footage of her. She was fucking in my tote bag, rooting through it. Uh, her fucking grubby little hands all over my shit. And I'm watching this footage getting so upset. And I'm going to pull up a picture of her because I'm going to find her. No, uh, we didn't even know that this person was. And, uh, and that's not illegal in New York anymore, by the way. At least she's COVID compliant. So look at this bitch. She's got fake nails, a really mm -hmm. nice coat. She has nice boots on. Like this girl is not struggling. She's bougie. And I'm just like full of rage. And that's why and, you didn't ask. No one asked any questions. And the, exactly, exactly, because we all have to be fucking overly. We have to go against our own gut feelings. You know, when you see a stranger, you can't say shit. And 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 you know, people should have known. Somebody wearing a mask at compound is already a red flag because everyone we have is fucking awake and red pilled, and people aren't wearing masks and shit. So. And I guess today I'm only there on Mondays, but like a lot of people are there like all, all of the days of the week. So they had pictures of this woman up all over the building. Apparently she's gone into different floors and burgled other people. Like, you know, we have, we're in the, you know, fashion district area. So I'm like, what is she fucking st stole a fucking sewing machine from the, the Asian tailors across the hall. I don't know. I'm so mad. Cause she stole money out of my friend's bag one of the, someone else's credit card and I called my credit card company I'm like oh, what what purchases did, did this person try to make uh it was for the subway and then they tried to spend like four or five hundred dollars at Dwayne Reed and then I was like huh what could they be doing there and then Frank figured out something smart he figured out what she was spending money on at Dwayne Reed do you want to tell them Frank yeah so what a lot of people will do for scams and I know they do this with a local electric and gas company they'll say that your meter is about to be shut off at, but if you go to Walgreens or Kmart and you get a $500 green dot card you use that to do make this payment but what they're not telling you is that any you can buy these green dot cards which are basically cash cards untraceable up to $500 and not have to do any kind of paperwork. So they'll ask for $500 or try and purchase something with a stolen credit card because it's literally just found money. Then they can use it however they want. It's crazy. And so apparently she, there was a bunch of us that walked in. They're called what? <laughs> I think green dot, but this green would work dot. with like Visa yeah, gift green. cards as well. So there was a bunch of us that walked into the building and she, I guess, walked in after us and she's done this multiple times because uh, they checked through the cameras and they said, like, oh, she's been here before. So I guess she looks for big groups of people going in, follows behind them, and she just acts like she's belonged. She's fucking very comfortable. We're watching this footage. She's throwing her coat around. She's doing like a fucking cloak and dagger, you know, slide of It's hands. Assassin's Creed. I don't like it. I feel like violated. Like only I get to root through my purse. You know what I mean? Oh, the fact that she went into my wallet, took out, she left me $2 in my own fucking wallet. You felt like, um, like, uh, Charles Bronson after they, uh, murdered his wife and raped his daughter. Yes, exactly. exactly. What Charles I'm... Bronson movie is that? Death Wish. She didn't take, How far back are we she going? didn't take my laptop. The original. Which makes me think maybe she's more of a PC girl. And it was Jeff Goldblum that raped his daughter, by the way. Ew. Oh, classic role by Jeff. And he was wearing a jughead, question. a jughead crown when he did it. <laughs> it's just so, so weird. That's what I was about to say. So Chrissy Mayer got robbed while I was having my computer explode. Yeah, I got robbed during my own fucking live show. Oh, that's how they did This it. was last night. Yes, this was during my own show. I'm sitting here thinking like she pulled an Assassin's Creed. She followed you and pickpocketed you while you were walking and shit. Oh, no. She followed me and some of the other guests into the building. And then while we were all in the studio doing the show, she was the only one in the green room here, which is next. The and next nobody asked over. questions like, hey, who's the black chick? No you one know, wants to be the person. Yeah, to exactly. Ask the black this chick. Is exactly the time we're living in now. Nobody wants to be the one to be like, see, who? that's why you need a minority friend like me to ask these questions. You're a minority? Uh, yeah. 
What Chris, kind? Can you pull up compoundmedia.com and maybe play a little bit of the footage? I We've got it. video, you bitch. You're going down. Cecil's He's Charles Aborigine. Bronson. He's an Aboriginal. You didn't know that? Technically, no. you only land. You're from Australia? What? No, not that type of Aborigines. Okay, that's the only type <laughs> I know. What other Aborigine is there? Exactly. The indigenous kind of this country. Is that why you perked up when I mentioned the didgeridoo? Well, I was watching... Uh, it, I wasn't watching Gay Boy. I was watching a review on YouTube. Uh, what was his name again? God damn it. Professor Tossbot. And I think he was reviewing 2020 as a whole. And for some reason, he goes into a porn film called Didgeridoo Me. And it had something to do with the whole world sucking. Oh. A gay dude having a didgeridoo stuffed in his ass. Now I got to look it up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. By the way, of- uh, Chrissy, you know they, that they knocked uh, armed robbery in the boroughs is now a misdemeanor. Wow. Everything's what a misdemeanor a, now. What about at Compound Media? Oh, my effing God. All right. We have. Oh, That's definitely we... a misdemeanor, what she did. Armed robbery is now a misdemeanor in New York. Wow. You know what's crazy? I don't think I've ever played any compound media footage on this podcast, and I've been doing it for like Maybe two years. Just be careful of uh, the language Mr. Kumia uses. That you <laughs> okay, to, okay, to, uh, okay. Describe the woman. I uh, I hear, I think hear you. You know what I'm saying? Loud and clear. Uh-oh. Yeah. All right. We might want to leave Cecil before we get implicated. <laughs> no. All right, so... So I don't know when's the moment they finally catch her. Oh, the whole the whole first 30 minutes, I think. Is you oh, wow, she robbed right. you there. In the fucking studio. She came into I'm my late goddamn house. Your, uh, drink of it. Hey, here she is. Oh. Masked, of course, to protect everybody from the COVID. I'm going to mute him. And what a dumb thing. God. And, uh, uh, yes. Lighting is you terrible. That, it's, it's a I live stream. I can barely see her white we'll feet. Oh, up, I know. Uh, if we Lewis, this African is my coat right in. here. This red coat is mine. And my just shit is all under the table here. Everyone's pockets in their coats. <laughs> now so she, comfortable. I got my nails, did. Now, obviously, Uh-oh. she's looking for milk for her children. You can't. You can't. KFC has told me that any time a black woman steals something, they're looking for milk mm-hmm. for their, for know, their kids. Can we pause this for a minute? Uh, this for is real. fuck. I actually had a homeless black woman accost me outside the courthouse for milk money. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, you got money for milk? And I'm like, I don't have any cash on me. You got milk money. Th- oh that's, my God. Uh, that's it. So I'm here's Gino <laughs> coming in. You're talking to the criminal. He You're fucking trying to <laughs> enter the friend Marshall. He actually shakes Holy her hand. Holy shit. Says, I'm charming. Oh. <laughs> and I put my bag. Look at her moving through my bag already. Now he's like, she's like, he's taking his clothes off. He's I might be her. raped. <laughs> oh my yeah. God. Look at this. Oh, there you, oh go. you shook the hand <laughs> of the crook. Good. I'm gonna find it. the part where she's uh, rooting through my back. For the fuck, I thought you would pay for that. Oh, this is me. one of the things in. they have so already triggered. penciled into the agenda. All right, if I do get arrested, I go in, right. I get out without having to post any bail. Look at her! Look at her! I'm back out on the streets she's rooting again. Rooting so uh, hard, the coats are falling off Christ. the coat rack. Bum's clothing. <laughs> you know, That's my jacket. I went through with the credit exactly. card man what exactly. were her attempted purchases, and she tried to spend. Oh. It was, she's like, my I already explained 35th this. 34th. They're hanging out there going, yo, you scoped that joint out? Yeah, I saw yeah, that she was FaceTiming the whole time. Like, she was FaceTiming with somebody. To to Look at her. Okay, so my purse, is, oh, my purse is under yeah, the bed, under the, the table, and that's street. what she's going for right it now. It says compound media oh. on it, and yeah. Like, excuse me, that's he's literally your robbing you. Oh, right? Right? That's yeah, yeah. yeah. This is my this is right now. All of our signs, for I'm, sale, I'm like all of our show during signs. my show. Yeah, like yeah, I'm talking yeah. about beware of donkey f- sign. Chrissy, did you leave your bag canceled, under the, the table in the room there? Mm. Literally yes, taking money out of my table. So this is yeah. her going through your stuff right now on the, on the screen. It'll, you'll see it. Are we going to see her pull some cash? There, there, look, look. The fast move. Oh, because someone just walked in. Who's this in there? Fuck that just walked in. Was that Garrett? Off and rewind it. All right, she's That's got her hand. In, this is hilarious. <sighs> so she's got her hand <gasps> in Chrissy's Ew. bag right here. The door oh, swings God. open. Look how fast. Ew. Look how fast she she pulls her hand up. Because oh. people do barge in. Just imagine like that's Kramer. her bag. Everybody. Like you're not. Oh, what? Yeah. Why is it oh. under the table? Why is she? So why mad. does she move so quickly when Garrett opens the door? Oh. 
Here she goes. No, she's I digging. swear to God, it's like five oh, percent of the so guests on Compound rag. Media committing a hundred percent of the crime. Ew, I feel so oh my God! Violated. You dare not even make eye contact with the Negro Oops. because oh that would be racist of you. Oh my God! Even <laughs> You missed it, Chrissy. Because I'm you black. Negro, right? Yes. Yep. Yes. I don't think you need the sound from murderer. The theater, to be honest. He's going right. to come here and just enjoy his commentary. Even Frank knows you're in the danger zone. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, I'm so mad watching this. I'm also so, so happy she didn't take my laptop. That would. You know what would have averted this problem? If you had a Ridge wallet by using my promo code. Oh, really? I think they probably fired me by now. Oh, and here she's going through Gino's uh, backpack, which had nothing in it for her. She was upset with the lack of. Come on, it's a one-shouldered man's bag. There's not gonna be anything that you want in there. Ugh, I'm so mad. She did good. She got three hundred bucks. Three hundred bucks. <laughs> my credit card. My friend Lindsay's credit card. I think one hundred and fifty from Lindsay and Marshall, our friends that left their coats over here. And then she just hit other floors too. And other floors. Yeah. God damn. And she's got nice boots on. Like the one of the office managers was like, yeah, I noticed she had really nice boots on. Of course she has nice boots. She works nights. She's a hard worker. She could treat herself with some boots. Yeah. She's uh she's afraid of getting coronavirus, but uh not worried about fucking jail time. Yeah. This would be a great advertisement for uh Kumia when he does his noblegold.com read. <laughs> <laughs> Or prepare with compound. Ah, oh, fuck. And it's like, they're like, oh, you got to dust for fingerprints. This is New York City, okay? You think somebody who looks like this is going to be processed for any kind of crime? No, they're going <laughs> to, they're going to be like, where's the body? You're going to say yeah. no one died and they're going to say, stop bothering us. Yep. Oh, you're night. in New York. That explains everything. Right. Yeah. Oh, right. I should have prefaced that. Welcome to New York. You should yeah. have. We're in New uh, York. This is in New York show. City. Yeah. Oh, are you in New York too? Yeah. What the hell am I just learning this? I'm wow. pretty sure I said it last time we were on F and T together. Well, I wasn't listening. Oh well. But do you, you have, have to wear a mask to make an appearance? Oh right, because you're. Do a like this lady did. A cartoon face. There you oh, go. she puts it in her bra. That's this a good spot for it. Fucking bitch. Oh, we got you now. I mean, she'll probably, if she saw the pictures of herself hung up everywhere, she might not come back. She's got big shoulders. You know what I want to do? Next time Her she comes by, I'm going to leave my tote bag under the table, just like this time. Except you it's put gonna a mousetrap. It's going to be full of mousetraps. Exactly. Exactly. Full of mousetraps and a live snake. I'm going to put fucking live rats and r bugs in there. I'm going to carry it around all day. But wouldn't wait. the snakes eat the rats? I don't know. They can work it out in the bag. <laughs> I'm so mad. Like I'm pretty sure the squeaking and hissing would give it away. Oh now, oh now she's leaving. Now she's cleaned everybody. Oh, out. she's oh. done. She's oh bye! Thanks for coming by. Bye, girl. She's she's waving. Oh, I'll be back. I just oh. with those shoulders, I'm surprised she didn't grab a couple jugs what of water. What does it know for? Oh, do you need a bathroom? People probably offering her a bathroom key. Yeah, I love that like... she came back in for just a second. Would you like some cookies? For one second, she came back in. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I fucking, I'm back I'll be to back. people again. I'll be back. Who was that? Yeah. Gundam, oh, this is from Nate D. Gundam was the first person I ever subscribed to when I found YouTube post-divorce. Watching him slowly lose his mind over the past five years have kept me sane. See, you're making a difference. I'm like Jesus. Yeah. I'm on the cross for your entertainment. I think that's that's better than being a musician. Oh, God, no. <laughs> I got more attractive girls when I was in a band than now. You could still do it. Maybe. I bet, I bet you haven't lost it. J.S. Pena says, damn it, hope to see Gundam's real face. I did too, to be honest. I'm surprised. Gundam, did you ever do stand-up since you do sta your work on stage? Uh, I did stand-up in between sets when something went wrong. Because you got to be bam. quick on your feet. Yeah, he can improvise. Um, Ghost in the Craig Gundam and the Drinker are like the brothers my mom most likely aborted. Oh, <laughs> black joke. That would be such a sad thing because Drinker really came through. <laughs> yeah, baby. P.S. Kudos on the charity build. Oh, yeah. I forgot I did that. What did you do? 
I just sold uh, some model kits I painted for charity because I wanted to do that. Uh, St. Jude's, I think they raised two hundred and oh, uh, two thousand two hundred and some dollars. Good for but you. But don't son. worry, people will still call me a piece of shit the next day. Oh, good, good. Mikey Gessler, I believe God has a plan for all of us, and God must have thought you were better doing YouTube than having a record deal. Oh, that would really, really suck. Why? I'm a far better musician than a YouTuber. Hmm. I mean, if a tree falls in a forest and nobody hears your songs. Oh, people heard them, baby. Oh, I didn't hear them. I was shaking and baking. I was selling it. Why don't you play your... something for us tonight? Yes. Could you do that? Uh, let's see what we got here. Darnegi, really Shundam, you got to self-promote better. I still listen to your music on SoundCloud and I want to buy it. There you go. Well, you God bless you, but all the CDs are gone. Papa Gundam, play Broken Hearts are to blame for Chrissy. Now, let's see. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Um, the Penitent Vigilante. I don't even remember how to play that on fucking guitar, to be real with you. Hmm. Do you have a recorder? What about Hot Cross Buns? <laughs> Let me pull out a recorder. Wait, who has a recorder? I had one growing up. Third graders have them still. Oh, here's Hot the link if you ever want to hear. All right, this here. This is you. Indeed. Ooh. Am I gonna get a copyright strike? No, because I own it. Oh wow! Hey, you can see the comments that people say. Yep. Ooh, I like it. See, I told you we weren't garbage. <laughs> a, a partial fate face reveal up top. Where? People have seen me before. I haven't seen you. There you go. This is very good. What does this sound like? God, what does this sound like? Well, it's on every video I do. It is. Maybe a little sound garden? Hmm. I haven't really thought about it. But those Ooh. are the instrumentals that I uploaded. I like for the it. Of it. I like it. What about this one? Yeah, those are all. All right, that one sucks. That was an unfinished demo. Scroll down. Doesn't suck. Oh, it's an unfinished demo. When choirs marry, uh, you can hit the broken hearts of the blame there. You can hit devil and me. Whatever you feel. Sounds like the other one. Oh, I hate that tone. I should have had them use Melodyne. It's too late now. This is you singing? Yeah. The lyrics are 11, 11. At 11, 11, 11, you can make a wish. That's what most women tell me. <gasps> Do you know where my birthday is? 11, 11, 11. 11, 11. That was damn close. Wow. I've heard enough. You're good. She would only be 11 years old if that was the case. You're right. Thank you, Cecil. You're better at math. Uh, Mikey Gessler says, It's a Gundam. I loved your reaction to the Vince Neil misheard lyrics video. Has Chrissy seen it? It's comedic gold. No, I haven't. Uh, oh, the day like I was high as fuck with Nerd Rotic and we were listening to like, do we, uh, Frank, do you have a link to that? This is I will look for answer. it. Um, Gundam, have you ever thought about doing a live show? Like just, just like, like finding live a venue. Music? Yeah. Like online? No, like in person, like a concert. I've like done that show. tons of times. What are you talking about? All right. Well, I'm trying to. I don't know. It feels like you've given up on your dream. Well, I tried to get my band to play live. We even had some uh, offers to play some gay bars in New York that were going to give us a VIP treatment, but and nothing came of it. Ooh, in the yeah, sense of like my band members didn't want to or something. Then I said, why don't we fucking play like covers of shit and see where that takes us? Okay. Uh, nobody wanted to. Like online, basically. They're like, oh, it's gay. I prefer playing for an audience. And I'm like, I get that. But like more people might pay us attention here and it could open up a door or something. So you just shamed yourself for going into YouTube from being a musician who went into YouTube. And then you shame the musicians for one. Well, at the music time, I had a little bit of juice. There's a difference between being like, nobody knows. We're going to live stream to our parents versus True. now where I could live stream and maybe a thousand people would show up or something. 
So you would rather do that than have a live show? Oh, no. I'm saying I'd do damn near anything if people gave a shit, but getting the band together is like herding fucking cats. Could you get a, a different band together? I guess I could, but you kind of like get used to people, you know? Yeah. Like there's people you love dealing with and working with because you click and you could just write shit like that versus a whole new list of people. I mean, why do you think Guns N' Roses is back together again? What is this? I don't know. I'll kickstart my heart, the lyrics. Okay. He doesn't even have to know the fucking words. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's, let's do it. Well, I've never heard ass laugh like that. <laughs> Damn. Uh, that is the laugh. That is the laugh which is going to bury me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this you? <laughs> no. No, it's not. <laughs> it's Miss Neil. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Cam hit a dog. Oh, I am hurting. I am hurting. I'm hurting. I'm hurting. And my hunk. <laughs> He's pretty fun. Yeah, I think he was supposed to grab the video of just Vince and not us reacting to it. It probably would oh. be funnier. Way to go, Frank. Frank, you're fired again. <laughs> Ghost in the Craig Gundam. We should make some music uh someday online. You could be like Buckethead or Marimello. You better stay alive until then. I don't foresee myself staying alive. No, why not? Don't make promises. Yeah, promises you can't keep. <laughs> I promise Cecil some of my stuff when I drop dead. Don't die. Shake from Hunger Team says, hey, Chrissy, great interview. And it's a Gundam. Any updates on DSP? Uh, let's see. He's playing Elden Ring now. It was a very successful stream the first day. And now he's back to begging for money because nobody is giving him money on his night streams. Oh, is DSP like the streamer that you always make fun of? Yes. He's one of my okay. favorite content creators because he's so horrible. <laughs> so he's like your um your stuttering John. Got it. Uh, no, he's not even my stuttering John. If I could get him to work for me, that would be interesting. <laughs> Alan Reese, thank God, Chrissy, you didn't do gymnastics. I did though. You might have been fondled by weirdo gymnastics coach. No, I definitely did do gymnastics from like nine until I don't know high school. I did. Are you still not, flexible? And none of the gymnastic yeah. doctors molested you? No, unfortunately, I I guess I didn't have what they wanted. You didn't have yes. the look. I didn't That's have the look. That's definitely like sad to grow up knowing that the local boy. pedophile didn't I know. find you attractive. I was in one of the most molestable sports, but <laughs> no takers. Shake from Hunger Team says, Papa is Pokey Mane still mad at you? Oh, she is pissed. Yeah. Why is she pissed at you? Okay. Um, we kind of made up. She offered to help me with stuff. I refused because I didn't want to take her money. Oh, shit. I said that out loud. Fucking brain. Oh, whatever. Then you heard it. I, I did, said it by mistake, Pokey. Please don't be mad. Help her with what? She was going to help me with stuff because I got fired from uh, some sponsorships or something. But oh, I refused because okay. I said I don't need it. I had fun because I did. You know, outside of the death threats and whatnot, Pokey Mane's reaction to me and her anger at the time was one of the funniest things that happened in 2020. Okay. And then it seemed like we were cool. And she told me I would be more successful if I changed my content and did something else. Wow. So I go. Well, tell me what should I be doing that's going to turn me into a megastar? She then didn't reply. I felt that that was clear sign that it was fair game to do a video on her emotionally <laughs> manipulating a streamer called Freddy. But she oh. called him Betty. I don't think she took too kindly to that. I did it with love, Pokey. And then I will admit, when uh, Bandai launched a Gundam-themed PC build, I did go to Pokey, and I was like, if you could, like, help me get this fucking graphics card for less than three grand, that would be awesome. And she decided to snub me. And I was like, what the fuck is her problem? What did I do? Oh, that's right. I made a video making fun of her, like, uh, fuck with that guy's emotions. That's right. Whoops. So I think she's still sore about that. Okay. 
But I'm open to another reconciliation, Pokey. And I wasn't begging for her to get it for free, the graphics card. I'd pay, you know. Obviously, I'm a man of honor. Obviously, yeah. Guys, oh, I got to bounce. I had something I have to be <gasps> at 1130. Thank no, you. Oh, you're late. I know. Uh -oh. This was fun. Is it the Jack show? No, that's Thursday. All right. Well, What's today? What's today? It's Tuesday. He's going to write that be. down. He's just, uh, he's just bored. <laughs> no, I have somewhere to be. Liar. Take care, guys. Good see Liar. you. Both. See you. Bye. Now I'm going to like uh, go on his show and fuck it up. Yeah. <laughs> Pilgrim Media. Hail Chrissy. Hello, Cecil, Gundam, and Frank. Oh, wow. Frank got a shout out. Frank, you're getting more shout outs. Bradley Burnett just started watching because I was watching Uncle Joe. So much maskless hugging in Congress. Wait, did we beat the thing? Huzzah! We did. We beat COVID. We and beat now... it, and now we've got World War Three. We graduated to World War Three. And guys, if you're feeling like you don't want, you don't understand, like you don't want to support Ukraine, but you don't know why, you can uh -oh. be rooting for Putin. Go to tpublic.com. Check out my rooting for Putin shirt. I don't understand it. All I know is I don't want to root for you, root for Ukraine. No, Fluffy. What have they done for me lately? Uh-oh. I'm going to get it in pink. I think it sounds fun. Uh, well, we'll probably be uh, deleted off YouTube soon. Andrew Swart. Gundam, I'm so proud. We haven't heard your phone beep in the background all stream. Hey, <laughs> have five Canadian doolery do's, Chrissy. I oh. muted the phone this time. Oh, no. Aha. Uh -huh. Slosher says, what did Anthony Kumia say about the theft? Well, he, he said was, some colorful things. He did say some colorful things. Uh, he did not hold back on his feelings about uh, criminals. He he was upset. He was very upset. He had this, the feeling of like, wow, you came into my house, into my studio and robbed, burgled, uh, you know, my employees and their associates. He was very upset. You could go to coffeehabmedia.com and listen to his full uncensored take. Mike Oglesby, Papa Gundam needs to be on Rogan, my long lost brother. I, agree. I would get so high on fucking Rogan. It wouldn't even be an interview. I'd just be passed down on the table. <laughs> and could they keep that going for three hours? Well, it's a three hour show. Yeah. John Doe, Gundam's knowledge of drag queens is suspect. Oh, that's, who that's hasn't we, learned that, about drag as a young that's, boy? That's why we asked if he was Guy. Where are you from? Where are you born and raised? New York? New York. Oh, spent shit. time in L.A. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, Bradley Burnett. Come on. She really needs to upgrade her Gen 1 AirPods. I think she was hired by Frost in an elaborate revenge scheme against Chrissy. Oh, my God. That would be a brilliant move to do to you. That would be an untraceable. You know, we would never think it was her. Chris Topher. I'm pretty sure that charity was the thief's name <laughs> yeah that sounds like a stripper i once loved josh cavato you guys rock hope one day to come on and talk shit much love my channel loves you chrissy <gasps> we love God you too you, josh. josh i think i might have been in a video of his once gd daddy thanks for the super chat kyle kalukin kickstart my heart misheard lyrics by tuba b now we need to hire this guy and fire frank yeah DJ Daddy Gundam, can we get a Billy video on Odyssey since he's banned on YouTube? Hashtag Gundam Nation. That's a good idea. I did upload a video that I knew I couldn't put on YouTube. It was like uh, Billy bits I didn't put on YouTube. Ooh. So that's a great description. That sounds good. Um, Crash Mono, love your deep dive on a Tinder swindler, Gundam. Isn't that crazy? These dumb girls. I, I don't know. But then again, you have guys who fall. For See, that's the thing. When a guy falls for this sort of bullshit, nobody cares. Not that nobody cares. It's just more prevalent. And uh, I don't know. Twitch. Yeah, maybe there is less sympathy. Listen, I'm going to say this here, because I probably said it before. I'm not going to say who the Twitch streamer is, but there is one female Twitch streamer that specializes in upselling her Patreon goals to her fans by having other people pretend to be her and form relationships with the Patreon users. What? Yes. So these girls specialize in manipulation. I'm not even going to talk about a streamer girl that has manipulated the mentally handicapped. Oh, that shit. sounds like uh, that OnlyFans scam that you uncovered, Chrissy. Oh, when I... exactly I, like it. People think that I have OnlyFans. Well, this company reached out to me 
and they were like, Hey, uh, you want to get some of your time back? We're, uh, we offer our services to you. And for $13 an hour, Rapesh here can answer your only fans messages. So you can get some of your time back. And I was like, wait a minute, if there's a need for a company like this, I'm like, that means this is going on. And like, how many girls are not even answering their own only fans messages, which means how many guys out there are like spending money for this personal connection and aren't even and it's talking fucking Rapesh. Yeah. And it's fucking Rapesh. He knows all your kinks. <laughs> He's he's the one fondling your balls. You Could you I mean? imagine? Oh my god, baby, but your asshole so pink, tight, and cute. Ugh. Yes, Daddy, I would love it if you'd found my sweet sauce. Oh my god. What Christy. did you do? <laughs> but please put your legs back like that. No more dick pic, please. I love the sight of your penis, Daddy. <laughs> Four ninety nine. <laughs> yeah. Please tip me two dollars. I will tell you what my vagina looks like. It smells like Goody. sesame seeds. Oh. <laughs> Dustman Naruch. Gundam, why not release your stuff independent? You have a big enough platform, and you would have gotten screwed if you got a record deal. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm pretty point. sure I would have gotten screwed. Yeah. I could be like the lead singer of Crazy Town. He's only worth 10K now. Come, come, my lady. You're my sugar you're blood. Sugar, baby. Baby. <laughs> Isn't that the only I only song know, like, the out? come, my lady part. That's yeah. That's the only part anybody knows. Yeah, put your stuff out independently. Now I've been giving it away for free on Spotify like a stupid bitch. I need repash. <laughs> you too, David McCoyne. Just buy her dinner, Gundam. Ooh, yeah. Uh, who's Look, getting the dinner? I'll get it. I'll I'll pay. I think Mike, Chrissy's married. No, Mike Oglesby. So Gundy, are you and Pokey gonna post wedding pics? Ooh. I would totally marry Pokey Mane and restore balance to the floor. <laughs> That would be great. She I needs can't... like to date a guy like me. I tried to pitch myself to her. I was like, Pokey, listen, I'll grow on you like a fungus. And she's like, a fungus, huh? And I'm like, yes, so exactly. Do you, do you talk with her regularly? No, not anymore. That was like okay. the one direction we had. If she had me around, I could actually like help her in a sense of she gets pissed off and then goes off on these tangents online. Like, you see this face? It made more money. In the, the day that you'll make in a fucking lifetime. If I was dating Pokey, I'd go, honey, calm down, sugar. You don't need to get angry at every troll and remind them that they're poor in the middle of a pandemic in a world war. So you'd be a calming male presence in her. In her Rationality is yeah. desperately needed. Yeah. I feel like that's true for so many women. I've because... come a long way since my band days. I used <laughs> to do drugs with Hell's Angels. Now look at me. I'm a life coach. <laughs> Revenge of the Nether Realm. Just get Pokemon a Ridge Wallet, Papa Gundam. Does she like take fan stuff? Because I would send her a Ridge Wallet with a signed note from me. But the question yeah. is, would she even look at it? I think so. Is she in New I, York as well? Oh, I don't know where the hell she is. I She's in a mansion. That's all I know. Ugh. I get annoyed when I realize somebody has like a lot of money. I don't know why. I don't know what. Aren't kind you of... rich? No. I thought you're a wealthy comedian. I'm wearing a hoodie in a basement. <laughs> you're like playing it down. No, God, no. I don't know why people. Is that because I'm white? I don't know. No, definitely not. Like, who thinks white people are rich anymore? When, when people search for you on a uh, celebrity net worth, though, Chrissy, I think it comes up with a couple million. I don't. Oh know, wow. Strange. Yeah, uh, it's very strange. Uh, I mean, but it's been coming it, up that way for years where we looked at it once. I don't know why people think that. How? Who's her publicist? I need them to say I'm worth a couple million. <laughs> I don't know. I always talk about like I've always had a job. I've literally always had a day job until about Look a couple at her months posting. ago. I've always been a desk slave. So, but I like that people think that, I guess. Disco Cobra, what's up, guys? Does Gundam plan on doing some more analytical videos on any YouTubers? What does he got on the horizon for funny videos? I don't ever plan anything out. Honestly, uh, the most I... Okay, I did plan a, a video on Chris Chan. And I think I spent weeks researching Chris Chan, which was one of the biggest mistakes of my fucking life. <laughs> because recently I saw a photo where Chris Chan cut his own taint open to try and make <gasps> himself a vagina. No. And I've been fucked. Like, I deserved it. Okay. Like, no. That Star Wars girl, she goes, I have to learn about Chris Chan. Immediately the troll in me starts sending oh, her stuff. God. And then I mistakenly stumble upon Chris Chan cutting himself open. So it's karma. It's like instant karma. 
But the reality of doing a Chris Chan video in today's YouTube, it wouldn't fly, especially the way I want to do it. So I said, fuck it. It's not worth the hassle. And then all people go upload it to Odyssey or blah, blah, blah. And it's like, yeah, but like I got to spend days, if not weeks of my life on this and then upload it somewhere where I think they'll give me like two dollars in cryptocurrency. Come on, baby. Tuna isn't free. I was thinking about doing a DSP video again because people want me to cover his bank uh, stuff where he got exposed for spending like not hundreds, but thousands of dollars on a a game called WWE Champions. It's a very interesting saga. And what else did I have planned? There's this Asian guy called Hiding in My Room. Okay. He has to be one of the most fascinating people I've ever seen. But since he's trying to find a new girlfriend, he deleted all of his old videos that were incriminating, like him hooking up with a girl and then doing a video talking about how unattractive she was and how he only did it because he just felt lonely for the night or something. Or the videos where he admitted to committing fraud to unemployment while squatting in Japan, living under a bridge. (laughs) So I, I can that. Okay. Oh, maybe Gundam, you should be on the next Frost cast. Uh, I tried to get in on the Frost cast. But you have to be uh, in a wig, though. You have to be like... I was thinking of uh, talking to his company about using their female VTuber again for my shenanigans because they didn't seem opposed to it before. Okay. Or you'd have to put a... At least have a girl avatar. Hmm. I think that can be done. Uh, oh, Oh, wait, no. My artist has gone missing. I fear he may be dead. Uh Uh-oh. Things are not going well here at Dickback Productions. (laughs) Tyler Malden. Papa Gundam, legend of the Gunpla groups. They fucking hate me. What is that? What is a Gunpla group? Okay. um, Gunpla is a Gundam model kit that's made of plastic. So they put the two words together and it's called Gunpla in Japan. Uh, I found that I had an affinity for painting them after my subscribers got me back into the hobby. I'm all right. You know, I'm not bad. But since my reputation is, uh, I guess, considered bad by most people, the Gumpla community on Twitter isn't fond of me. But then again, to be rejected by people who are saying they want to topple the capitalist system. And if you don't support Trans Lives Matter, you don't belong in their podcast or listening to them. I guess it's all for the better if you don't want me around. Right. You got to look at the, the source. So then they said, I'm very worried about the live action Gundam. Going to be woke. Anyway, what's your favorite mobile suit? Love you, Chrissy. Uh, RX-93 New Gundam or High New Gundam. I also put that? a link in the tab. And you see the Twitter link there? I do. Now you can see my paintwork. <gasps> you paint? Oh, it's all in Asian. Oh, sorry. Demographics over in Asia. Japanese. Hmm. All right. Wow, that's really good. You painted this? Of course. What? I'm multifaceted. Did, Why you, draw, can't you... did you draw it out first? No, why would I do that? I don't know. It's a model kit. It comes in. This one's made of resin, so it's all like Oh, this is a, yellow. This is a model thing. Okay. Yeah. Damn, though. That's a good job. What you is thought it? it was actually a painting and not I a did. physical object? I did. I thought it was a painting. <laughs> I was, I'm still impressed, though. Why, thank you. What is a Gundam? I thought it was just your nickname for yourself. Oh, Gundam is a popular Japanese anime franchise that was created by Tomoto as an answer to the American subculture, which had Star Trek and Star Wars. Tomoto decided to come up with something that kind of melded the two, but kicked its ass. And thus we have Gundam, which will probably be co-opted by the same groups that have ruined Star Wars and Star Trek. So Nerd Roddick's having his meltdown over Lord of the Rings. That's where I'm going to be in another year. (laughs) Having a meltdown. What made you want to name your channel? It's a Gundam. Actually, the funny thing is I always had Gundam as a nickname in some form ever since I was a kid because like a website gave it to me. Because I couldn't think of an email address. So it was like, what are your favorite things? I'm like, Led oh. Zeppelin, fucking Van Halen, Mobile Suit Gundam, Guns and Roses. And it just came up with a bunch of names. And I liked one that had Gundam in it. So I ran with it. And then mm-hmm. It's a Gundam stemmed from playing Battlefield 4 all the time. 
And I'm a pretty good jet fighter in Battlefield 4. And we were playing on one server where you weren't allowed to, like, uh, use rockets because it was unfair for jet fighters because it's so easy to cap motherfuckers. So I'd have to do bombardments on enemy players. And when I'd fly over and drop a bombardment and kill off, kill off people at, like, a, a choke point, somebody would scream in chat, It's a fucking Gundam! <laughs> and I was like, That's a good name. And that's why I started using it. But you couldn't say fucking, I guess. Oh, definitely not. No. All right. I'm surprised I can get away with gun in my name. Because <laughs> it's gun. Sarah M., she's the wrong Canadian for you. Oh, Pokey is uh, Canadian? She's Canadian? Oh, the wedding's off. Oh, man. After what Trudeau has done. Oh, how dare he? The Front Porch Conservative says, Chrissy Gundam, Cecil and Frank, the filing cabinet, all on the same stream? Don't bother holding the beer. It won't get any better than this. Thank you, Porch. Thank you, Porch. Nate D. Gundam, get uh, Get Ziltex on FNT? I don't Ziltex. know if that would work. Ziltex is my longtime uh, troll, personal troll. Sounds like a boner pill. Sounds like <laughs> budget Valtrex. He is a fucking boner, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, he's a friend of mine that I play video games with all the time on streams. Uh, we met in Battlefield. Uh, he's probably one of the funniest people I know. And, Other than me, of course. Oh, obviously, no one can take the place of you. I'm waiting <laughs> for you to get single again. <laughs> I'm already plotting to kill Channing Tatum and wear his skin. What would you do on our first date? Ah, <sighs> disappoint you immensely. Oh, that's impossible. <laughs> it's a first date. I would uh just do wild things with you. I would have you help me cheat on my taxes. <laughs> We'd run guns to Cuba, stuff you've never done before. Ooh. No, I have not done any of those things yet. Sounds exciting. All right, let me see if I missed a couple of these. Songbird, use the VTube Ziltix got you on Fiverr. No. I hate <laughs> that fucking thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Nate D. Gun oh, I already read that. Dustman, Nooch, Naruch. How about getting Billy on Billy Frostcast? Billy on Frostcast. Damn it, now I need a camera for that. Is that one of your characters? It's the character that YouTube banned. It's my oh. puppet character that I came I came up with like years ago. And he was just supposed to be a joke. Like this simpy guy before the word simp existed. He was like a boy who goes on the internet. He watches e-girls. He masturbates and he sends them large sums of money. And he defends them online. Okay. A few la years later, he becomes a reality. Oh, and now okay. I can't use him because the puppet masturbates. And YouTube has flagged me repeatedly for sexually gratifying content. Oh, it actually man. said that. That's terrible. I think you should still do it, though. I'm like Try Mr. Rogers. Yeah. <laughs> Drylar for, what is this, Puerto Rican currency? CRC? Costa Rican colon. I just looked it up. Colon bucks. Papa Gundam, when is the It's a Gundam Ridge Wallet edition coming out? I don't think that it ever happened. <laughs> I don't. You I know, I have a Ridge Wallet, and it's like, I don't want to use it it's like hard and small and see if you used it you wouldn't have gotten robbed i hate to bring that back <laughs> up. you can't fit cash in that thing though yes you can't wait yeah you got to get the clip version at the back okay well, yeah you like what do you take do the you money out of the clip yeah do you carry large denominations on you i you did i did back? i did last night what you pulled out a fat stack not that fat like she took like 300 bucks. Like in all hundreds, 20s, ones, how 200s you Two hundreds and the rest were like 20s. There's totally room in the Ridge Wallet. <sighs> and it's bulletproof. If the bitch pulled out a gun to shoot you, you'd have been fine. She shot you in the wallet. I'm legally obligated to tell you. Oh my God. That you're not supposed to use it as a what defense weapon. Right. You're doing great. <laughs> Notable Zero Epic Stream Do more live stream Gundam Was blessed to pull The train horns On people waving flags Twice today Once in Illinois And once in Indiana Uh oh You know honk honk Stands for uh, Heil Hitler You bigot Uh oh Well honk it up then Uh oh <laughs> Devon Janai Hail Chrissy Sup Gundam Yay for the CV ending I don't know What that means I hope that was Cecil Oh how did you start getting on uh, Friday Night Tights? How did they find you? Uh, somebody messaged me as far as I remember. And that's the end of the story. That's it? That's some story. 
I know. I'm I'm practically Mark Twain. Are you an only child? No, of course not. Of course not. I mean, I don't know. Like, you can't be like this, be an only child. Usually only childs are self-centered. True. True. You don't show any hallmarks of... Oh, so here's the thing where it says my ne net worth. Wow. I don't know where they're getting this from. 1.7 million. Where is this money? Says you're and married. I, this is what I hate. It's it says salary, married, wedding, spouse. Oh, let's see your uh, wedding photos. See, I hate this shit. It pulls up like the lamest credits for me. Like someone's short film I did in 2007. Punchline was a decent gig. And laugh. Like, it's so weird that it just picks out those three things. See, that's why I don't expose myself because then people would nail me for the short films I did. Oh, filmography. Yeah, nothing. This is all they have. 1.7 million. Where is this money? Where is it? Who's it's in that background, that great LED light? Yeah. God damn it. See, they're putting out fake news. Oh, well, it makes you look good, though. That, thanks. This is awesome. And you can change the colors. Um, what's fun is like when Frank changes the TV, this actually. Well, I meant like the uh, this thing saying that you're rich makes you look good. But oh. hey, the colors work, too. I was talking about these backs, these behind me lights. That's why I don't expose myself. Oh, man. I can't believe you're in New, no uh, New York and we haven't hung out. Well, I spend most of my life on an editor now. Honest to God. Really? You should be rooting for Putin. <laughs> Is that going to edit videos <laughs> for me? Because if it will, I'll wear it tomorrow. Oh, I don't like it in yellow. I like yeah, it yellow in... doesn't work that well. Yeah, red is good. I don't love that blue. Dark colors are all good. This red is kind of neat. Blue, don't love it in blue. Brown. This is the sort of stuff you people need to buy. Just in I case the Ruskies take over. They'll see this and they won't put you in the gulag. I just want people to know that I'm not rooting for the Ukraine. Because I I'm... feel pressured to root for Ukraine. And I don't know anything about him. I personally feel bad for uh, anyone who's caught up in bullshit. Yeah. You know, that's who I feel bad for. I would like all this to end. I'm not even fully sure what the hell's going on. And it seems pointless. It's like the world has gotten this close to being semi-normal again. And then we just go off the deep end. Yeah. True. And then you go on Twitter and you see all these crazy ass Twitter people who make it about themselves. It's crazy. Some... Well, because the, the, the fucking bubble was popped on COVID that too many truths came out. And they're losing steam. So they got to get the mass formation psychosis going on something else again. It's like, oh, we're changing our profiles to the Ukrainian flag. Yes. Uh. Like, oh, yeah. That, that you have noticed that. I was sitting there. I honestly was like, oh, there's a whole bunch of Ukrainians on Twitter as of late. Yeah. That's why I made the Ruin for Putin shirt. Because I'm like, I don't like feeling pressured to root for the Ukraine. What the hell have they done for me? Uh, I root for people. Yeah, exactly. Individuals, not a whole collective not a whole country, unless it's this country, of course. Songbird Gundam is far too happy on this stream. We need a Twitch stream with Ziltix. Uh, they want me to go off the deep end, I'm guessing, because Zil knows how to push my buttons like a woman. How, really? What does he do? Oh, he's just a troll. You know how trolls are. I'd have to, like... How would a woman push your buttons like a woman? Okay. Uh, hmm. I could say, like, my ex-girlfriend saying she left me because of the way I wash dishes. That definitely pushed my buttons. Really? Did you wash that them was her excuse. shittily? No, I didn't. They're my dishes. I can wash them however I want. Were you bad at washing dishes, though? No. No. You, she you... was a bum. She like, was the bum. She's the bum. She didn't want to wash dishes ever. Ever. Oh. I remember once, like, she was going off someplace. I'm going to be gone for the weekend. I'm, you know, I'm like, okay, cool. But before you leave, remember you, you promised to wash the dishes. Sure, I'll wash the dishes. It was a hot bucket summer. And she left the dishes for a week. And I'm the type of guy who on occasion will wait to see what you do. Yes. Which is probably destructive. I do that too. So I wake up. She's gone. And I look at the dishes. I'm like, she didn't wash the fucking dishes, man. What the fuck? She promised it's a week. I lift up one dish to a bowl and it was full of like these eggs. <gasps> I don't even know what the fuck no. it was. Larva? I, I don't know what they were. I didn't give them time to hatch. They're I saw alien. Probably like maggot eggs or something. It could have been with this girl. So I chuck it in the trash and I'm 
just pissed off. I'm screaming. I'm yelling. That's a good way to get me going. And then, like, I call her. I'm like, you didn't wash the dishes. There's these fucking bugs. I don't know what these these things are. What the fuck is this? Sorry, I guess I forgot. Because she don't give a fuck. It's my dishes. Her problem with me washing dishes is I'm the type of guy who, like, fills the sink up with water. And then, you know, put the super shit in it. And most people, I see women always make that face like, oh, you wash dishes like that? Like, I worked in a diner. That's how they told me to wash dishes. And if you're paying for dishes, I mean, the water, you that's like, like trying giving to your, That's like giving your dishes a bath versus a shower. Well, you know, you've taken baths before. Then you yeah, spray but them you down feel cleaner in a shower. Well, when the water looks like it's going bad, you drain it out and then refill it again. You go over and keep going. All right. All right. Yeah, you I just wouldn't... don't leave it in brown water and go, this is fine. I'm not retarded. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So you wash dishes. And she so... left me for a dude who was a fucking drug addict. And her excuse was, I couldn't stay with you. The way you wash dishes, I couldn't take it. And I'm I mean, like, this dude hit you. So he let <laughs> she left you for George Floyd. Wow. Uh, and the scream, Frank, we're fucked. <laughs> He also bit her like Chris Brown. That's exactly what I asked her. Bit? Yeah. I guess Would he's that she, pissed. Is she one of these ex-girlfriends who still talks to you about what the current boyfriend is doing? And like, oh, it's so hard. Oh, I need help. And she gave up because like uh, he left her for fat chicks. Wow. He was a black That's guy. A, the, uh, yeah, I could tell. <laughs> Obviously. You said drug addict and left her for a fat chick. I was like, there you go. Put two and two together. Um. Wow. She talks about how I suck, though. Yeah. I never stopped sucking. Sounds like she sucked. Now she was good at it. Oh. Interesting. Demogenai says CV is the illness. Ah. Through that. Songbird says Gundam is far too happy on the stream. Oh, we already, I already we said this one. one. Dirt. Frank, you're supposed to be helping her. He's he's in bed. Uh, Gundam needs to do a stream with Nick Rakita. Yeah, I would watch uh, that. I did one with him on Flashcast. Oh, okay. Mattitune, has Gundam ever met Magabon? Who's that? I don't know. Magabon. Oh. Now we Google because we don't know. We don't know. Uh, looks like a girl. Is she Who's Asian? This? American internet personality and YouTube celebrity. You know, YouTube won't even give me that listing in fucking Google. Really? Fuckers. Wow. But this person is a celebrity. Nothing against her. Maybe she's amazing. I doubt it. You can say that you're a woman. Anytime <laughs> I say anything remotely dismissive about a female, I pay the price. Oh. Okay. Roughneck. Oh, wow. Thanks for $50. Hey, Gunna, it's, uh, I've been a long time sub. What was the bike you have? Give me a P.O. box so I can send you some parts if you still haven't gotten it fixed yet. Riding a bike has been my therapy. Look at that. You got a bike friend. Uh, I'm still rocking the Yamaha R6. I'm thinking of moving on to a Ducati Pentagale. And I've already fixed it, actually. Ooh. I just went out in the... I was editing. I can't remember what fuck it was. Probably G4. And I fucking had it. So I was like, fuck this. I went outside in the snow. Dealt with the snowstorm in New York, you know. And while I was out there freezing my balls off, I was like, fuck this. I'm fixing the bike. These assholes at the shop want to charge me an arm and a leg for something I could do in 10 minutes. Which I did. So, fuck them. I like that. You're like a real man. You fix stuff. See, I told you I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but I want to clip that. Spenger McSpazzy with Crunchy absorbing Funi. I don't know what the fuck this is. A means. Crunchy roll is absorbing uh oh. funimation okay this is uh anime stuff do you think we'll all go back to pirating anime and manga well it wouldn't surprise me and it wouldn't bother me doesn't like funimation and crunchyroll like modify the subtitles to be more in line with our bullshit because i know there's one anime where they changed the fucking subtitles talking about gamergate it's like really you could tell Chrissy loves anime. I don't know anything about it. I can't even think of anything to say. Roughneck, thanks, Chrissy, for getting Papa Gundam on. We love, I love your streams. Get him on Simpcast. Ha 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 ha. That would be awesome. Oh, uh, that's not for me. <laughs> I've it's done Simpcast for like years. It's for girls. Sebastian and on Hey Papa Gundam, you should do a gun plus stream with Mr. Metaker. I actually tried Medicare. to contact Medicare. 
because I know he's got cancer stuff, and I thought it'd be cool to do like a model kit with or for him. Cancer stuff? Hmm? Like he has cancer? Yeah, he's got cancer, for real. Oh, no. What kind? I don't know, but I think he's hinted at he'll die. Oh, no. It's kind of crazy, which also, in my twisted warp mind, I sit there and think, like, Medicare was doing what I was doing before I showed up. Was it all the internet cancer that killed him or the cigarettes? Damn, that's sad. Maybe I could send him a basket. I don't know. Like, Medicare's a hard guy to get a hold of. I'll get a hold of him. I don't even know who he is, but I'm going to do You have it. those feminine wiles. I could. I could if I wanted to. All right, so I want to address this comment. Chrissy is out of the loop on a lot of stuff tonight. I think she's faking. I am not faking. I don't know shit about anime. Uh, I don't know. Really, just like all the areas that Gundam is knowledgeable in, I don't know. <laughs> it, it's not surprising. It's nothing personal. Chrissy's a decent looking chick who did gymnastics. I'm sure she was living and life. Cheerleading and, and cheerleading. And diving. There you go. Chrissy was on the polar opposite of the spectrum. I was constantly in a leotard or a bathing suit. Do we have photos of this for me to look at? Were they revealing? Do people in the chat were talking about my cartwheel video, which I don't know if I want to bring up to you. And we'll save that for later. <laughs> it's imagine a nice bike, bro. I read a Triumph Street Triple. That's a good bike. How do you know about riding. bikes? Uh, I wanted to race motorcycles. Wow. I was uh, track riding with, um, I think, the East Coast. Amateur champion, I think his name is Ricky. Fuck, what the fuck is his last name? Ricky Bobby. <laughs> no, shit, no. I can't remember. Oh, it doesn't matter. This is years ago. Uh, we're at a New York City track, not New York City. Um, what the fuck's it called? New York something track. And I'm okay. going into turn one, uh, uphill. So you're braking from 120 miles per hour on the straight, and you're trail braking the bike into the turn. I don't and, know what any of this means, but I'm well, trail braking on motorcycles is when you're still braking into the turn. Back in the day, a lot of people were like, you don't break into the turn. You break before you make the turn. Fuck that. The fastest guys break into the apex. Now, you're going into the apex, and if you get it right, you're golden. You fuck up. You obviously wash out. And I'm going in tight. There's no room. There's no fucking room between me and going off the track. I'm literally at the yellow and white lines, right? And this dude comes in and cuts under me where there's, like, literally inches between us and crashing. Whoa. And I was sitting here like, what the fuck is this guy's problem? This isn't the last lap on MotoGP race. To and I saw the dude was dragging elbow on a Yamaha R6 with fucking slicks. And is that a I racial just, slur? No. Oh. It's a motorcycle tire. Okay. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, he's got 60 degrees of motherfucking lean angle on an R6. I can't be mad at that. And ever since then, I was cool with the guy. After I crashed my motorcycle and shit, and uh, he was helping me repair it. I haven't spoken to him in years, though. Damn. That's a great story. Oh, those are the fun days. Back when I was, like, putting my life on the line. Now I'm staring at fucking Chris Chan's tank. Okay, so you need more danger. You're missing danger in your life. Like, YouTubing is, like, not dangerous enough for you. Well, avoiding getting banned is pretty dangerous. Yeah, true. But it's boring. This is the most boring part of my life. I feel like I'm retired now. Oh. I'm not running for the police. I mm -hmm. haven't been shot at in years. I haven't even been in a fist fight in years. I, I feel like I'm in the gay stage. It's over. Like, I got one foot in the grave. It's ending. No, come on. You could get in a fight tonight if you really wanted to. Well, You're that's in New true, York. but come I on. need just provocation. Yeah. Like, I'm not the type of guy who plays the knockout game where you just find some random person you hit them <laughs> right. for no fucking reason. Right. Oh, you could get a new girlfriend. That would be dangerous. True. Oh my god, my dating has been so bad. Are you on the apps or are you just no IRL? I avoided the app. IRL. Okay. It's bad. I've had where, some bad experiences. I where do you pick up girls from then? Uh you meet them personally, obviously. The last time I was dating from an app, it went badly because like the women I met, Which things app were was going it? Oh, fine, Tinder. Okay. <laughs> I'm not on it anymore, so don't look for me. All right, fine, I won't. And uh I like meet these girls. We hang out. Everything's going great. And then I told, you know, each one at some point that I was, it's a gun. I'm on YouTube. <laughs> and it was over. Like, oh, the no. The girl was gone like I was a fucking rapist. Damn. Then the next chick hit me up for money. Oh, I'm man. Just like, you barely talked to me and now you need How money for money? Your $1,500. <gasps> or lot. else she was getting kicked out of her apartment. Like, no. 
Wow. <laughs> Costco. That's how you get them. Damn. That's so much Unhinged money. on hinge. I might have to try that, my friend. Wow. I one time was very much caught in a bind where I needed money for rent. And I did ask the guy I was dating for money, for rent money. And he did offer to get. Did I ask him? I think I was more just openly complaining about like, oh, shit, my rent is due. I'm. Well, that's I'm a so bit more understandable if you're dating. But and it's he was like a surgeon or something. He's like, I'll give you rent money. Oh, he's I got just the money. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't. A thousand like, uh, five hundred to him is like fifteen dollars. I wonder what he's doing now. <laughs> you need some pocket money, baby. I couldn't. I couldn't take it. He also like I. I also was not like super attracted to him. Oh, then how did you end up dating him? How long did it last? <laughs> not a long. Not a long time. Was there I sex could... involved? Yes. Okay. Now here's the next question. <laughs> When you finally decided you were through with him, did okay. you like ghost him? Because I've had women fake their death. No, I think I said I was in a fake their death. No, I think I just said that I was in like a hot mess because I was. Oh, I've heard that so many times. I was in like a hot mess place in my life. I literally heard that from a girl I was very interested in like Damn. a month or two ago. Oh, no. Maybe she is in a messy place. She Maybe is, she... Uh, but you know, like. Maybe she it's not over an ex or she's just fucking sometimes you just like if you go through a string of guys and you're like, that's it. I got enough. I got to stop dating. I got to work on myself. And you just might happen to be her rock bottom or something. Ah! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, Seth Milliman. Hey, Gunnam. What are your thoughts on VTubers? And do you see similarities between them and E-thoughts? Also, I understand your way of the dishwashing. Yeah, Seth, you pay water bills, don't you? <laughs> Yeah, that's how you understand the fucking dishwasher. You pay water, the goddamn water bill. It's a water bill wash right there. And the chick treats your fucking water like it's a theme park. And then you get the water bill. It's like $300. And I, I'm sorry. And that's all you get. Um, VTubers, I haven't been paying them much attention. But I do believe that their fan base is a lot like e-girls. Because I just saw some VTuber chick got exposed for getting engaged. And her fan base went catatonic on Twitter. I thought they were going <gasps> to kill her. Really? It was insane. Damn. There's like guys writing, I'm throwing up right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Did you explain the girl that faked her own death? Did that really happen? Yes. Uh, I was the girl you. I was dating I'm from New dying. York. No. We were, it was weird. We met on, I can't remember where, but Tinder. we became friends. No, it wasn't mm -hmm. Tinder. It was before Tinder. Bumble. No. Bumble can't fit after. My God, does everybody only do dating apps? I can't e remember what site we're on. No, eHarmony's trash. They wouldn't fish. even let me on there. Plenty of fish? No, I think I got banned. MySpace. Too sexy. Okay. MySpace? Oh my God, that's dead. <laughs> but anyway, um, we like were friends. And then the worst thing you could do sometimes as a guy is when you're like friends with a girl and you're real close with her, like your best friends. And then she decides she wants a relationship. It's like, we should just start know. dating, you know, because we got a good thing here. And me being, you know, younger and not as experienced, you know, when you're in your 20s, you're still hopeful. That's what I think. It's like, yeah, this would be great. And it Were you not like attracted to her? Oh, she was a lovely girl. I love Latin women. They're oh, probably, they fucked your me type? up. I don't really have a type, but right now I'm in a Latin mood. <laughs> fiesta, fiesta, baby. Okay. But uh, we're getting along. We're doing great together. And then like one weekend, she gets all weird and stops talking to me. And I think she's dead or something. Then her MySpace and stuff starts going off. And I'm like, what's going on? Well, where have you been? I'll talk to you about it this weekend when I see you. And then she just drops off the face of the earth. Everything's gone. She vanishes. And I think, like, she's dead because her Facebook, it, it stops working. There's no stuff going on there. She pulled a Gabby Petito. And then one day while I was on Facebook, it gave me a link to her new profile. And she's with a totally different dude. <gasps> Whoa. Then there are the women that like hit me up and then they just vanished on all social media, like Instagram and shit, because I get a lot of DMs. And then the girl comes back a little later and goes, Sorry, I just, you know, sometimes you got to get rid of your Instagram. And I'm like, What the hell's going no, on here? I've never felt that way. Now, I learned this from Tinder from a chick who like was pretending that she was single, but meanwhile, she was married with like eight kids. <gasps> And I wasn't even interested in her, but I was Usually being nice to her. guys who do that. That's a great idea. I should pretend that I'm married and have kids. 
No, usually it's the guys who are married with kids pretend that they're single. Leading a double life. Yeah. I I think my I think my sister's husband is leading a double life. What proof do you have besides he rips ass all the time? No, that this is uh I'm talking about my sister's husband, not my brother's. I have a brother and a sister. My sister, I think, is m- married a full on scammer. Now, how who, do like, we expose him? There, I don't know. I was like, do I hire a private detective? She's like in none of his social media. By the way, this has been a thing for like five years. This is like really old news. Yeah, they've been married now. Well, that's news to me. A couple of years. They got married. She didn't even tell me until six months later. There was no wedding. She bought a beautiful wedding dress. There was no wedding. They just got married like in Vegas where they live. It's crazy. And then he like he has no pictures of them together or anything? His social media, he presents totally like a single dude. And even on my sister's social media, it's like it's just group shots. It's like they're all in groups, really? It's so fucking weird. This is interesting. There's it's better lot. than YouTube. It's a long story. It's now like, that's worthy of a private detective. It's a good thing I'm not in your life because I would be pushing you towards very bad decisions. Dude, there's things I could tell you. would be like, oh, my God, what the fuck? It wouldn't surprise me. I follow DSP. Dustin Naruch. Chrissy, if you're going to hang with nerds, you better up your game. Have Gundam suggest some anime to break you in. All right. How are you going to break me in? Uh, I'm not the greatest of nerds anymore. What okay. the fuck would you be into? That's the question. What are you into? What aren't I into? What aren't you into? I don't know. I'm into things. Like? <laughs> whips, chains, <laughs> cocaine? Oh, no. I mean, no drugs. What shows do you like in general? Shows? Yeah. I liked Cobra Kai. I'm really liking uh, The Righteous Gemstones right now. It's fun. It's with uh, Danny McBride. What else did I like? I don't know. Because it's hard to try and pitch an anime this to a former hard. cheerleader. Yeah, and I, I'm not like, I feel like cheerleader is not really like the most accurate representation of my person, personage, you know? Like, it, the cheerleaders were, it's not, wasn't like a popular girl thing in my high school. Really? I think I was like one of the only white girls on my cheerleading team. Wait, what school did you go to? Uh, it's from Long, I'm from Long Island. Ah. Southside High. And uh, they didn't really know what to do with me. They'd be like, oh, go do some flips. They would just send me out to do that. when they Get out there and do some flips. Why? Here to do. Yeah, basically. So it was a good time. Was your school bad as mine was? Bad? No, it was an yeah. um, international baccalaureate school. Yeah, that just flew right over my head. It's like the APs, but you can get like a whole degree in it. I guess it's not super common. but So nobody know. sold drugs there? I'm sure people did. I just wasn't friends with them. I was like, just trying to like not be. Like... I went to schools where they chained us in the building like animals. What? Chained you to what? They chained the doors of the building so we couldn't get out. Yikes. Wait, though. Where are you from? I'm in upstate. <gasps> oh, where upstate? No, I'm not giving too much information. But okay. All nothing. right. I give away so much information. I don't even care. That's how come everybody knows you're worth 1.2 million. No, I am not worth 1.2 million. That's that is such fake news. And she's bullshitting. She's trying no. to sell you these t-shirts. Meanwhile, she's driving a Corvette. No, I literally drive a Ford, a 2010 Ford Focus that I got for free because we knew a priest that died. That's literally my car. Damn. And Still I newer kept, than my car. I got I a 2000. I kept the funeral parking passes. I don't know when I'm going to need that shit. You can keep, they still work? I haven't tried it anywhere. There's also That's a worth a shot. Bottle of holy water in there, but it was empty. I, tried... I would keep the holy water just in case, you know, the, the religious people were right. Yeah. Yeah. John Speltz, wait, you were going to tell me about your car. Uh, it's a 2000 Ford mm-hmm. that my mother crashed. Uh oh. And what? then I got hit by uh, a white guy who worked for a cable company, Time Warner. Uh-oh. And then while I was having a concussion on the side of the road in a snowstorm, he was like, don't worry, buddy. I, I'm calling the police now to get you help. And he hopped in and drove off. Oh, my God. And then the police were like, yeah, we'll probably never catch the guy. So it's still very New York up here. 
Oh no. I'm sorry that happened. John yeah, Spelt. Thank you both. Found you both about two years ago as we descended into the darkest timeline. Gundam, thank you for being you. Don't stop. Chrissy, you're amazing while being genuinely hilarious and such a good person. Wow, I'm gonna have to print that one out and hang it up. Thanks. It's a smart move to keep the good messages about yourself so you can read them when everybody else tells you your shit. That's my move. Yeah. That's a great idea. Sebastian on Chrissy, redo of Healer is a great anime to start with. Just ask Anna. Oh my Thanks, god. Is that a bad suggestion? We do. You, you could go watch it if you want. That Star Wars girl is genuinely a pervert. That's really? my opinion. I love Anna. She's a friend. Yeah, she is. But she watched Redo of Healer and it didn't phase her one fucking bit. It's basically a rape fantasy anime. I want to watch it. I'm in yeah, now. You might like it. If you're into Fifty Shades of Grey, it'll tweak your nipples. Ooh. All right. Brandon Harrison been a papa g fan since 2017 gundam is like a modern day dustin diamond no, Di no that's diamond Di david lee Di roth <laughs> i read that too quick diamond david lee roth brother speaks the truth and cracks me up all the time it's a gundam i wish i could have seen you play live back in the day yeah me too <sighs> i miss those days reading people's comments calling me the next bono but not new bono old bono from the joshua tree era and now I'm a fucktard online. No, you're great. I can't believe we've been talking for two hours. Uh, I want to try to land this plane. I'll have to do this again sometime. Um, Gundam, where can people find you and follow you and uh, all that good stuff? Oh, you've got the links at the bottom of the screen right here. It says follow, support Gundam, YouTube, Patreon. See, it's easy to find me. It's not hard. I suck at self-promotion because I That's feel weird about it. Mm-hmm. I don't know about you. Uh, I've gotten better at it. It's hard to do. It feels like a, like another job, but you just have to like get over yourself and do it. Yeah, I just feel bad. Like I think it's probably because I watch DSP so much. You know, because he's fucking funny because he's so terrible. But he has no problem telling you to support him, to send money. Um, oh, super yeah, chats are fine. I don't like but that. But tips I get immediately. And me and my wife uh. are going out on Monday. Ew. This is my spending money, you guys. That's really cringe. That's just like Stuttering John. He does the same thing. He like pressures people. Is Stuttering John still around? Yes. Where yeah. is he? I we got in a huge fight. Um, You're like fighting year, with Stuttering John a year or so ago. I said to him, "Oh, do you?" Um, I heard that you kind of like dabble in stand up, and he was so triggered and so pissed oh, he couldn't. Stuttering he John couldn't, stand up is terrible. He couldn't get over it. The fact that I said that he dabbled in stand up. And he was like, how dare you? I came on your channel. Da, da, da. And then he was like, oh, I don't know. Do you do stand up? He said that to me. And then I was like, I dabble. And it was fucking the best moment of my life, I think. Has anyway. he gotten better as a comedian? No. I knew it. No, he sucks. <sighs> Stutter and John, you know I mean? like, one of the luckiest dudes ever. He got to be on the Stern Show in its zenith. Yeah, he got a fucking recording career uh, off of some of the worst music I ever so heard in my life. So lucky, so lucky, so unappreciative, so arrogant. Just ah, uh, why could it have been me? These fucking boomers, man. Like I would have just... been catching Howard Stern's farts in a jar for a record deal in the nineties. Yeah. Yes, Mister Stern. You know how good he had it. Uh, as for me. Please, I'm about to. I'm about to uh, do that thing we said we don't like. <laughs> if you'd like, no pressure. My album is available for pre-order now, live from January 6 on Amazon and iTunes. Uh, this was a great stream, Gundam. You're a delightful man. Love Thank to you. hang out sometime. IRL. You're, you're delicious. Ooh, thanks, chat, for your super chats and your questions and your comments and your funny comments and your funny. All of your things. Wow, I'm tired. I'm gay. All right, until next.